Hey, you surprised me. What's up, guys? Well, what well, well. And it has been a minute, man. It has been a couple of months. Actually, it feels like a year. Yes. I haven't seen you guys since Christmas. How you guys been? Been good? Been living well, the life. Seen you. Yeah, been living the life. Yeah, same here. Busy, uh, busy, busy, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining. You know, I could be like wishing I was busy, right? I think we can all agree to that. I know we all, I know oh, we've yeah. all been busy. Um, you know, but nothing new under the sun. Still got, you know, of course it's tax around, I would say it's tax quarter, I like to call it, not tax season, but uh been kind of been kind of just getting the same time. <laughs> no I, it's extension time <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> yeah i pay taxes in october how about you you know but uh yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but i'm actually in mine last week. night oh gosh yeah i finally not, I, I knocked out i didn't complete it but i i got close to it to, to filing I, I got a lot of stuff i have to knock uh, to add to it but i find myself having to do everyone's taxes it seems like my dad's, my daughter's, you know, and, and uh, a couple of friends because they, you know, they don't want to deal with it. But I'm like, I need to get my shit done, man. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, crap. If it isn't, who is is this? A... What's up, Terry? What? Not much. How you doing? What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys. What's up, Terry? How you been? Man? You, you mean good, huh? You look, uh, you look like you look happy. I love I'm very you. happy. Yeah, very happy. Well, you're in Texas, so. Of like course. <laughs> the greatest republic in the, in the nation. That's right. You know, I actually saw something. Uh, I think it was a, it was an article or a post or something that says how Texas is becoming the uh, the most mm -hmm. important state in the union or something like that. Yep. Well, we already we already know that, but well, it has to do with what's going on politically, of course. But, um, and I, yeah, we there's a lot of stuff going on, especially at our border, and then. We're running yep. up on an election here, you know. We got Bitcoin almost hitting just about hit seventy k for for a minute, and then drop back down. But right. So, uh, in, anybody uh, take any profit on that Bitcoin rush? Anybody? No. 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 My buddy did. My You're buddy uh, did. seventy thousand out. So. Really. Nice. Yep. And then redistributed nice. into um, ten different plays at ten k each. Now he's up on nice. those exponentially too so he's got the money to play with like that i don't so yeah gotta love all season i am Nick right, now. <laughs> right yeah yeah i stopped buying bitcoin when it hit <clears throat> 57 i said it's a little bit too high so i started throwing in alts there you go but yeah i never i never stop uh i never stop just throw it in right buying bitcoin. <laughs> I just, yeah yeah well, after meeting Chris, Chris Cruz, I, I, I got smart and I put it in a trust, you know, I put it away because I was very tempted. Uh, yeah. to, I probably would have. No, don't get me wrong. I took some out and bought a house, right? You know, that's crypto. So it's, it's a start, right? Um, but then, uh, of course, as it ran, did its run up, I, I, I bought something else with another Bitcoin wallet that I had that my, I was telling you guys earlier that my wife didn't realize I bought. It took about a good month and she was like, <laughs> something doesn't smell right <laughs> that's pretty funny but um yeah so I, I took a little profit of course and i know of course you know it's always going to be a dump right but but what i liked is it settled it settled higher than it where it was so that's that's a good sign so it's got a new high right it's got a new bottom or a new a new it's got, a, it's got its new low i guess but higher lows higher right. lows yeah so um I, that's a good thing and uh that's very promising you know i was I mean, I, of course, I was, ex I don't know, there was a lot of boom going on in, in the market, right? We had Chiba dump in, and, and I mean, it was mm -hmm. a little, it's weird that, you know, the uh, Bitcoin was, was was going straight up, and and and, um, and the other markets were dropping, that, of course. That was all the BlackRock money coming in, though, wasn't it? Really? That was big money, right? I, I wasn't even, I didn't even know where it was coming from, honestly. Um, yeah, the infos I, were crazy a day. It was like, I, I was, I, I just saw it running up. I was like, okay, I was getting my notifications, you know, Bitcoin at 68, 69, 70, 70. I was like, what the hell's going on? And I finally, I've been so busy, I, I haven't been able to have a chance to really have had a chance to follow the market. And then once I just, I saw my exit and I took it, right? And, um, which is good, but, but I'm still in it, of course. You know, I got something I can't touch because I'm, I'm still waiting for that uh, million dollar Bitcoin, you know, as, as one of the, one of the guys in this market and the guys in the space always say, but uh, I'll, I'll take 125 K. That seems a lot more uh, yeah. you know, feasible to me, but um, I mean, that's, that's the way I see it. If um, the having um, the election this time ne next year, mm -hmm. 125,000 Bitcoin is doable. Very doable. Yep. 
Yeah, we guys, have a, guys, no, not, not, you know, I wouldn't say go out and buy Bitcoin, but um, definitely diversify, you know, um, gold and whatever, mutual funds, whatever you're getting into, real estate. But well, I, know, yeah, I don't, I don't buy any gold. I used to. Yeah. I don't buy any gold well, anymore. A trader, but... right? Trader, right? Uh, I know that. Uh, oh, yeah, trade. Yeah. In our, I, I, have, I haven't gotten into the trade. My, my dad was buying it for a bit. You know, that's one of his, mm-hmm. his, his part of his portfolio. He's trying to get me to get into it. But I was just like, I'd just rather just trade it and, and speaking with an R. Now, he's got some things that he's working on with that. I don't know if you guys have talked to him about it, but that's some crazy stuff. Yeah, on. it came up on uh, Crypto Pride's uh, mm-hmm. live stream. Uh, came up about uh, that bot and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's pretty impressive, um, but you got it takes money to make money, right? So, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm building some bags so that I can, uh, and, you know, I just bought a house, you know, and I, but the thing <clears> is, I can't go, I can't, I can't just buy a house, buy a couple of toys, and then go lose my mom. I don't like that, you know. Crypto right. is, you know, it's such a, you know, well, these I, bots, bots. It's, 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 yeah, I'm looking to the next bull run before I yeah. pull out any serious profit. Yeah. 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 When I, before I was married, I was like, I'd do whatever the hell I wanted to do. But now I got to ask for permission. What the hell just happened? What the hell happened? Yeah, you can even call the carpet is. nowadays. Is, is, is this, where's your finger? Yeah, there it is right there, man. That's it. I just take names. Yeah, it, it yeah, my finger. I want. Right. <laughs> You're like, it's it's my finger. finger. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm number one. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. He and Chris Cruz <laughs> just play the field. You know, we do whatever the hell we want. Whatever, whatever man. You try, like. You're looking for a finger, man. Shut the hell up. <laughs> You're listen, like, I, listen. I, I learned a long time ago that I'm sitting I there on wanna, Tinder begging. I, I don't want to explain to anybody why I spend too much money on my kids. Why? I, no, I got you. Man. You know, I, I, why I have my toys. You know that kind of stuff. And yeah, I, I, I definitely got stopped in my tracks because I was on. You know, I was. You know, I was single for a bit, and I was just doing whatever I wanted to do. And um, yeah, and now it's like. Uh, but there are some benefits, you know, a man who finds a, uh, a man who finds a wife finds a good thing is, is my belief, you know, it's in, it's in the Bible. Um, and that's just a proverb that, uh, yeah, I mean, not, but you got to find a good wife and not just anyone, right? All right, Greek. It ain't just anyone, right? It's, she's got it. She's got to be, yeah. she's got Yeah. Not all women are not, not all men, not all women are the same. Once What's I get that? my toy, then I'll find the wife. Okay. okay. Your Lambo? No, nah, he wants that truck. No, his truck. Oh, is it what? Black- Elon so what what, great whenever you get it i'm gonna track? drive up to where you're at because i know you won't make it down here because there's not enough charging i'm stations. actually flying down to austin uh <laughs> april 16th well you know what he didn't even hear you <laughs> really dude we'll we'll go have lunch dude for real all right you're like literally an hour and a half from me austin so yeah, yeah my cousin's getting married so i'll tell you whatever day yeah, i have yeah, for man. you they got stuff Absolutely. planned you're gonna go to tesla or something and check it out or what, what you gonna do I, you go to the plant you go to space i have no something. clue That's what everybody what, does I wanted to go to the plant, but then I'm like, I don't want to see my trucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would be cool? Actually, I it, could it, get it, my truck now. I, I I did get my reservation for a foundation series if I want to put in for it, but I don't want to pay the damn markup, which yeah, is do understandable. Do it, no, you're right. You talked that there earlier. Don't do it. It's not worth it. You're just because mm-hmm. you're kind I'll of buying, you're, you're kind of a guinea pig or something like that. Somebody yeah. um, did have a foundation series. I was at the Tesla by my house, and the guy let me like – check out the truck so it was like pretty sweet once i saw that once i saw it and see i'm like no i'm not i haven't seen one up close right obviously they i'm a gnc badass. guy but i, I want to check it out you know um i ain't gonna lie i mean i love tech so obviously and I just saw, a, was it rivian is it the other the other yeah that's another one and yeah. i'm a, all i'm gonna say is uh, the cyber truck doesn't even compare to a chevy you're right. You're right. 100%. Chris Cruz does have a badass truck. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh yeah. You you actually saw. Yeah. You were there. That's a badass yeah. truck. Yeah, he does. He does. I'm not gonna lie. It's a, he's 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 got a toy. He's got a couple of toys, right? I, I got I got I don't have a. I mean, I have a GMC, but it's it's just stock. With the, not the, like this guy is crazy. He's all freaking got some tires and it's paid off. You know, he's living the dream. He's living the. <laughs> <laughs> that's it right there he's winning that's because his flux capacitor still works <laughs> yeah right, right. but uh I, I mean would i buy a cyber truck i mean i'd have to be i, I just balling. i wouldn't be able to yeah i'd be balling i wouldn't be able to i, I wouldn't, it. I wouldn't so turn much. it down i wouldn't turn I'd it take down one. I, yeah, I wouldn't I buy the wouldn't. foundation i'd probably buy the one that the one that you're talking yeah, about i'd do it, just to have it. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i wouldn't yeah. i wouldn't be my but it wouldn't be my daily there. driver Right, it'd be my no. just take it out and tear, tear up some ground with it and come yeah. back. Oh, it's gonna be my daily everything. 
Yeah. You commute what? Twenty minutes to work. I was then? just going to use it. To yeah, charge thirty my minutes. Truck. So yeah. it would it would be perfect. So I'd just come home, charge it every night. It's great. It's got plenty of room for my golf clubs. You 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 saw that you saw that picture that uh, Jocko sent. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, the one in the driveway, right? That was yeah. Cool. It's a nice exciting. house too. That was a nice house that he drove by too. Like, and then he just yeah. sends us those pictures of gators, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's one for you. I'm yeah. like, dude, <laughs> I mean, I'm not down there right now. But are you? Uh, how far are you guys from uh, San Antonio? I'm about three and a half hours, maybe four. Um, let me ask my navigator real quick. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know where <laughs> I live. I, I'm on the north. I'm on the north uh, west side of Houston, so. I'm, I'm probably a little closer than I was a couple years ago, three or four hours. I, I'm so. not sure if I'm going to drive down to San Antonio or fly, but I'm probably going to be down there in September. When are you doing that? September. Well, hell yeah, man. You guys got to let me know, man. You're coming to my neck of the woods. I absolutely. San Antonio is four hours. My, my sister-in-law lives in Austin, so it's it's like – it's, I mean, I drive three hours a day, anyways. Honestly, so that ain't nothing. Well, I'll, I'll go. I'll go through Houston. Wouldn't I go through Houston? Go to San Antonio. Uh, are you from you're flying to Houston is what you're doing, and then you're gonna get no, out. No, I don't, no, think, you, I don't you drive? think you will. Yeah, well, you, I you, think you I would drive. I'd drive from Destin to San Antonio. The yeah. funny um, thing is, my cousin who's getting married lives in Houston. But he chose yeah. Austin because he likes the venue out there. Yeah, I'm like, just nice. trying to read Austin, and I'm four to San Antonio. Austin, you're what? You're four, four, hours? four to San Antonio, and just about three to Austin. Yeah, that means you're probably about two and a quarter from me, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm downtown Fort Worth, basically. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually planning to go to uh to Frisco either this weekend or next weekend. I'll text you, man, if you're around. Cool. Like, and stuff. I'm gonna be I'm, I'm riding with my my buddy up there, my my uh. He's got a Harley, you know, so I'm going to about take my bike up there. I'm going to ride a bit. Some nice places to ride up there. Nice. What's and, up, uh, Crypto Pride? What up, Pride? Pride. Pride in the house. Vitruvian Maniac. What's up, folks? What's up, we appreciate guys? you guys tuning in, man. It's been a while since we've got to get together and talk. Uh, you know, uh, it's we've been busy. Uh, no excuse, but uh, we've still been in contact via text and every now and then and <coughs> group chat. So I appreciate you guys keeping me in the loop. Oh. But I, I definitely miss talking to you guys. You guys, uh, you know, the best part of my week, man. I get to hang out with my buds, man, and, and talk shop. You know, is um, is 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 he uh, messing with the uh, the water bottle? Yeah, damn dog. You hear it? You get in the background. <laughs> Oh, I, I got me a dog too. I actually, I was going to tell Con I got me a Shiba Inu, man. Um, you know, I saw his. So, oh, uh, didn't you send a picture or something? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Um, she's she's getting bigger. She's man, these Shibas, man, they're. You jerks. did send a picture, and then we all started sending pictures. Of yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My dog, it, my dog will eat your dogs, yeah, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, but you know, your dog probably your dog's a man killer. You know, mine's man's best friend. There's a difference. No, I my guess. my. <laughs> My dog's like he loves me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The put now nah, the pugs are pro- the pugs oh, have the this, best personality though. I have not talked to Fowler in probably a month. I think I saw a message I, from him about a month ago. Hope he's doing well. Yeah, I haven't I haven't heard anything from him or anything like that, so I'm not sure. Neither have I. He's a busy man. My daughter's a Tibetan Mastiff, so it'll uh, it'll eat some dogs and coyotes and wolves. I didn't oh, know you had a dog like that. No, my daughter does. Yeah. That's oh, oh, we had a Catahoula, a Catahoula mix, but yeah, we had a very expensive weekend. Had my all of our teeth done, all of our glasses done, an emergency vet, and 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 a goodbye farewell ceremony cremation. So that was a very twelve thousand oh, dollar weekend. So. Oh, it, Jeez, man. No, so that. no dogs right now. That's yeah, sad. I actually wasn't planning on getting one, uh, but I, I just told my wife and the girls, I was like, we'll go look. Can they keep, come on, we want a dog. Like, no, 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 no. We just got the house. Dude, like, all they do, as soon as they, as soon as you agree to go look, it's I know, done. man. Well, I mean, for, yeah. I'm, my I'm, friend I'm, went I'm, to I'm go look, dogs, and now so. he's got two dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, Don't I love this dog so much. I almost went and bought him, bought her a freaking, you know, a mate, you know, bought another one, you know. Kryptonian. Yes, sir. Her, What's up, your, crypto your, your kids and your um, wife looking at dogs like you going to um, 
Cabela's looking at the new the new import gun or something. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's a, my little what, that MP5 be, back there. Yeah. You can't uh, be talking about Cabela's, man. They the one that by me shut down. They moved right. to Bass really? Pro Shop. Oh, man. Bass Pro Shops. Yeah, man, they're they're getting kind of woke in a bit. I think is what I've heard. Uh, I'll there's talk, some I'll talk going on. The same company. They are, no, they that's what I'm saying. Is that we don't have the Cabela's anymore. That it's, uh, oh, it's now Bass, Bass Pro. Pro Shop. Yeah, they they must have merged or must have been an acquisition okay. or something. Yeah, but we have a field and stream up. Uh, up we used to have one well, out it's here. Up Houston. there by uh, um, what's I'm his going. name's house? Are we getting Winchester or where would Winchester go? Because you're leaving that small town they're in. Outside, I don't think one to I don't think one to Texas. I think yeah, Winchester. They, yeah, they're coming. They're coming from New York, right? Aren't they up in New York? Yeah, or? yeah. Some small, it's just a small area. They call it a village. Just it's a town. So it's like a village. Uh, no, if, they, if they if they post up, I have to go check them. I've got me a Winchester uh, uh, thirty thirty lever action. You know, yes. rifleman. So I've got me one of those. That's that's more of my nostalgia going on there. But yeah. I love me some Winchesters. You know, it's just it's just America. You know what I mean? America. It's, it's America. What's up, Biz? What's up, Crypto Rav? Appreciate you guys joining us. It's been a minute been a minute guys it's been a minute but you know the cool thing is there's a lot of things going on in both markets both in off chain on chain you know the economy's it's in the toilet right now we can always we know why but um crypto i think in the last few days few weeks with what happened with bitcoin i think that opened up a lot of eyes you know across the globe especially you know yeah. and you're and seeing more and more iras letting let bitcoin be in it you're seeing more banks yeah, starting yeah. to call up, call up on, the, on the bitcoin yep yeah. Oh yeah, I remember when I was doing something. I was talking about doing taxes earlier, and and uh, now there's that question: Do you have any cryptocurrency, digital currency you'd like to claim? Right? And I'm like, no, of course not. Nope. You no, know? of course not. Of course not. The boat sank. It was on my boat. Yeah. Lost my boat too. <laughs> my USB drive flat. Uh, my my USB drive crashed. So no, I lost it all in a mm -hmm. crash when I lost my guns on the boat. But but um, I'm looking forward to to the next. I would say the few, next few months. I think it's going to be very interesting um, because it is election year. I, I love this time of year because, you know, this is when you get to see all the the craziness in, in, in the U.S. If you're into the election, <clears throat> if you're into politics, this, this is when it gets. This is like my Super Bowl here. This I is this stuff. is a this is a stupid. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm old enough that I've seen this stuff. Uh, Jimmy Carter was. Uh, this is exactly what Jimmy He's Carter worse. did to the country, man. Right. And and Joe Biden, I, I'm, I listen. If 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 anybody out there is supporting Joe Biden, Biden uh, through all this stuff, the, the, I don't know who's in charge, but it's not Joe Biden. The Joe Biden that you were a fan of for all those years and everything like that. This exactly. isn't that Joe Biden, dude. This, this is if you go look at this guy 20, 10, 20 years ago, the things he was saying are the exact opposite of what he's doing now. So I, I mean, I, I I just it doesn't make any sense to me. It's it's not you know I don't I don't know I don't know. But this the the political pendulum they they've done this so many times and even in my lifetime they just they they just trash the economy for some stupid reason and then it goes back the other way and everybody gets very concerned. I mean, like when Reagan came into office, it was like very conservative turning things around, doing certain things. I mean, it wasn't the best ever, but still. And I don't know if Trump's going to be better or whatever, but a change is what people are going to want. And Trump's going to be the guy that's going to, you know, take advantage of that change that everybody wants. Obviously, but. the economy, I want to see a change and obviously in a positive way. We were talking about that earlier you know, in my business. You know, I, I am busy. I was talking about I do have more billable hours. I am I am. Uh, there's a lot more time that I'm spending out in the field and, and acquiring more, mm. more accounts, right? Which is great, but my margins are down. Yeah, working harder percent. to make less. Yeah, like, yeah, that's because what it of inflation and all that stuff. So it, it's 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 a facade. It's an illusion. Now, obviously, I would love for the economy to do well, but what I'm most excited about is if we get Trump in, because I will be voting for Trump, is he's going to close the damn border, because what's happening with just Something. you know, Lake and Riley, what happened just a few weeks ago, how this woman was beat to death and assaulted. Did you say Lincoln Riley or did Lake, you say Lake? I said Lincoln? I said Lincoln. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not senile, man. I'm not your age. I'm just joking. <laughs> I want to talk. Oh, ah, you know man. what? I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, goodness uh, gracious. All right. Really now good. we can talk. Finally, I, what, I want to talk about this comment here. Uh, I want to talk about it here. All right, go ahead. So, 
a long time ago, I saw an interview and it's out there and it's not like it's being made up or anything like that. But Obama, someone was talking to Obama, they're doing an interview with Obama and they're like, uh, are you going to miss being gone and everything like that? And he's like, you know, it almost be like if I could be in my sweats and in my basement and talking into somebody's ear and just telling them what to do, but I didn't have to be you know, visible and all that. So I can see this comment and everything like that, but I'll tell you this. I mean, there's a lot of things that Obama did that I didn't agree with, but ain't no way Obama's in charge doing the stupid things that they're doing now, dude, that I mean, even Obama's probably like, what, I mean, what did he say that he, he said that uh, don't underestimate Joe Biden fucking shit up, you know, or whatever. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Obama wouldn't be doing, he'd, he'd fix some of these things. He'd do things different. The border I mean, if anything, wide open with Obama didn't he? Yeah. Didn't he, wasn't he like the uh, president in recent times, the deport, he deported, deported the most, most amount of people. Well, he, he, de he deported, he deported the illegal aliens, but he imported guns. Kind of weird guy. I don't know. You know that they got to be sitting, even Obama's got to be sitting there like, what the, what is he doing? Yeah, you know? And, and I don't even think it's what they're doing. I don't even think it's Biden. I don't think it's Biden no, that's agree, doing it. That's what my, my thing what the hell's is. going on. I still am convinced on that. That guy's so lost. He's... Yeah, I, feel, I actually feel bad for the guy. He just, you know, no. they got to. I think that well, if you know, if you know guy. Biden from years ago and everything like that, and the things that he'd say Way stupid things, guy. but he stood for certain things, and you could get behind some of these things. But that's all out the window now. I mean, some of these things, I'm like, you were against this a few years ago. And now you're like. I don't even understand it, but well, they probably tell him, "Look, you're gonna go down. We're gonna we're gonna build a legacy for you. Just just do what we tell you to do. You're gonna go down as the greatest president in the world because your whole freaking career as a politician was what sucked. It sucked, man. So we're gonna we're gonna let you go out, you know, as a as a shining light, and you know, on a hill or whatever. And uh, he's like, okay. So he's definitely you know being manipulated uh, or being controlled. Who who's controlling it? Who's controlling them? I think the same same, same yeah. Same people that have been doing it, you know. I mean, I, I I think honestly, presidents are just placeholders, you know. I think Trump what is was the only one that was kind of an outsider. At least that's what it appears to be. He was an outsider. He, he can't be bought, you know. And he came and in with his own money. So well, he's the only president left left off office with his net worth less than when he went in. Yeah, that's true. true. Hey, so I got a yeah, question. But for you guys. I, it, yeah, I could understand that to a point. But like with Obama, he wasn't making a whole lot of money before he got in. But you know, it's well, skyrocketed afterwards. Exactly. He's, right. yeah. he's got a very, <laughs> he, I mean, I don't care what you say, good or Speaking bad about agent. Obama. He had, he, I mean, he, he presents himself well. He's got a good speaking. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, Trump sometimes is like, you know, he just, he, he says it's from the heart and you're like, dude, just chill. Right. But like, like Obama was like, man, he was, he just he could capture the crowd and he, he kept it clean and he was cool, you know, and all that stuff. So I can see Obama coming in and making a whole lot more money later on. But Trump mm -hmm. just needs to not say what he thinks all the time, all the time. Yeah. Let his actions do the speaking. Yeah, exactly. exactly. He, his I actions agree. were like his because if you showed things that Trump did and then Obama did, a lot of people would have chose the Trump stuff. If you didn't tell them who was running the country. Yeah, I've seen but, videos where they're, they're actually saying, what do you think about when Obama did this and this and this? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Or actually Trump did it. And they're like, what? And I've seen those yeah. videos in the street, right? You're right about that. 100%. So it's 100% true. And it's like, Trump, just stop talking. Like, I know a lot of people who said they voted for Biden because Trump was on Twitter. And I'm like, well, that's a stupid reason to vote for your president. Just don't look at the stuff he writes. But they're yeah. like, he shouldn't be writing that stuff. He's our president. And it's an embarrassment. No, what is, what is your I'll tell you what's an embarrassment, man. A guy <laughs> falling up the stairs—that's embarrassing. Um, but I, I've I, done I gotta, that before. I, Don't make I fun have of to, it. I, okay, yeah, but you—you you know, you were. <laughs> you have you admitted that? Oh, we got to talk I about was that. I was three hundred forty pounds running up the stairs. <laughs> okay. Well, that's see, that's different. I got a question for you guys. I, I see a video you're about to play here, Chris. Um, but obviously, Trump is the nominee, right? He's gonna—he's the presumptual nominee here for the Republican Party. I want to know what you guys think about who his running mate should be and who either, you know, top three, who do you think he should pick? Who do you think he's going to pick? Um, and then we'll go from there. Go ahead, Chris. Ben Carson. I like him. I like Ben Carson. Smart man, dude. Smart man. I like now, Ben Carson. He I came like to... He came to uh, when he was running with when he was running for president. He came to the humble area when I lived in humble, 
and uh, one of the high schools that my kids went to, and uh, I was like, oh man, I was gonna I was gonna vote for him, you know, Carlson Carlson, you know, and that's when they were, they were going up for the nomina- nomination, and man, he was just. I mean, nobody could follow the guy. The guy was just so smart. Everybody just like, what the hell is he talking about? But that, that's just the way he was, right? Um, but yeah, I, I like him too. He'd be a good one. Well, if you if you ever, I would highly recommend this if you ever had any time and you wanted to, for people that are out there, but his life story, the book, The Gifted Hand. Yeah. Man, I mean, raised by a single mother and I think, was it Detroit? Yeah, Detroit, and, yeah. She's working two, three jobs. Him and his brother, they had to mm-hmm. study, you know, all that kind of stuff. She kept on like a, you know, got to get their education. Yep. The guy, and this is what bothered me about it and kind of woke me up. I actually woke up when they bashed Sarah Palin. And I was like, mm-hmm. dude, what? when she, when, uh, when John McCain announced her as the VP, right? Mm-hmm she came out and they had a speech and I was watching MSNBC and I was like, Oh, that's cool. You know, I, I mean, I haven't seen a woman as a VP since Geraldine Ferraro. So I was like, this, this might be pretty cool. And, uh, man, after she was done with that speech, the people on MSNBC were just hammering her. Yeah. They're dirty, man. And I was like, what, what, I mean, she hasn't even been out long enough for, you know, to, to have all this stuff. I just thought it'd be like, well, there you go. You know, there's the, you know, all that kind of stuff. So when Ben Carson came out and I'm like, yeah, I remember being a kid and seeing him on TV talking about how he separated those twins, you know, and all that stuff. And I was like, that's the same guy. This guy's like a, He's a genius. He's a brain surgeon, dude. Like, yeah, oh, I'm like, okay, this is why would you want that guy to to be yeah. over policy? You know, because he can obviously right. make right decisions. Have have he, he can make ability, educated decisions. Educated you decisions know? to save lives, guy. right? He makes he yeah. makes life changing yeah. decisions, life or death decisions. I like a guy like that. He can actually work well under pressure, right? And he's he's obviously you know you got to not anybody can do what he did. I'm sorry. You could put a thousand men in a room, um, probably a hundred thousand men in a room. And he's gonna be there's gonna be one guy that can do what he did, and that, you know what I mean. So he, he, it's a gift. He's a gift, hundred percent. I, I I actually I like Vic. I would I would go for Vic if Carson's not on the ticket. Didn't he? Uh, isn't he like? He just uh, I just read an article. Vivek um he's uh, chose he's not gonna choose VVP. him. Uh, he's gonna use him for a cabinet position. Good, even better. I like Vic, man. I like Vic dismantles, man. Anybody that they, Dude, he just that chews him up, man. I love him, man. He, he's basically like he, he's he, he has no he he has a filter. He says it in a nice way, oh, but it, but it, he it, is like Trump, man. He's just like boom. Yeah, those two together would be kind dude, of dude. Oh, yeah, I, I brought this up and meltdown. Let me cry. Ben Carson did brain they, they, surgery they, on my friend's daughter, saved her life. Yeah, I oh, mean, that's awesome. shit, dude. Can you? That's awesome, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought he was, I thought he was great, you know. And and then they just started hammering him. I'm like, I can't even take you guys serious because I can't take, I can't take politicians and media people serious at all. I can't because if you come to me and you say that I think it's a good idea that we cut the grass on Thursday, and it's like, okay, yeah, okay, that's a good idea, but then. You other people have paid. No, you can't do it on Thursday. Why? Because you want to do it on Thursday. I mean, these people, these politicians, mean people, it doesn't matter if it's the right thing to do. It's if you're for it, I'm against it. And and I I, I don't even care. Like Ben Carson, what had Ben Carson done at that moment when he was coming out? They're all like, oh, you know, it's terrible. I mean, he's he only saves lives. I mean, but does he have have (laughs) diplomatic experience? You know, yeah, he's he's too. Yeah. Clarence Thomas, you know, it's freaking ridiculous. What was it? And they were, I, I swear I saw. I know that they've said this about Trump and other people and everything like that. When he was running 2016, he's like, they're inexperienced. They don't know how to run, run for that kind of stuff. It's like Obama was a, a first term Senator. First, what are you never, talking I mean, about? He didn't really show up to vote. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He went and from Obama, first term to president. You know what I mean? You can reach you, people. That's experience enough. That's yeah. all it takes. You have that's to right. Get that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, that's and right. you can, we can go round and round about pros and cons of Obama and everything like that, but I can, I could stack up a few things that he did good, and I'm sure you could stack up things that 
he 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 did good or he didn't do good and you could go round and round but some of these presidents man it's like dude come on you you can't even show up <laughs> i mean it's not even worth it yeah i don't know man it's i, I i'm in the same boat with you chris i mean uh, politicians and I, i'll tell you I, i'll tell you Oh, so he is he is open to um, I thought Bloomberg he released an article two hours ago saying that oh Trump, yeah I, I I don't know how much I believe it all that stuff it's you know it's here oh yeah you gotta get to this video you keep I don't know what you're talking I, 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 well about. I'll say this that, that guys you know we talk about politicians being corrupt and all that stuff obviously on a federal level but the the most corrupt and the most tyrannic tyrannical tyrannical is in the local governments yep. your city councils your your That's your right. uh your um your school boards. I mean, crazy stuff going on. So get involved. I, I live in the Harris, Harris County area. Better. And Harris County is so focused on the top and they don't focus on all that yeah. other stuff. Oh yeah. The judges and the DAs. I mean, we're getting that in that whole nother conversation, but, but go ahead. All right. So you're going to play this video. We were talking about this earlier, guys. Uh, you know, I've, obviously you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen this, you haven't, you haven't heard about it. Then you probably just woke up. So this is what happened. This is what's happened in the news cycle in the last 24 hours. Trump was was at was in I think he was in Ohio and he was talking to he was he was in a speech he was doing a speech or he was, he was at a speech or he's at a rally and he used the word bloodbath and he was talking about it would be a bloodbath if if Biden were to win the election again it would be a bloodbath in the auto industry is in the in the industrial industry right it, yeah, auto, it's auto, auto auto industry he's talking auto. about well, and, because you know, what he's saying is that that uh, China is building massive factories in in Mexico. And they're going to make the vehicles and ship them across the border. Yeah. And Trump's like, you know, you're going to pay 100 percent tariff on that, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if, he's, if he saying, if he wins, if he wins, right. he would do 100 percent tariff, which would be amazing. Um, right. Which yeah. So, but and so he used the word bloodbath, and of course, in in just as expected, the 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 left media, the the left, the I would say the arm of the Democratic Party, which is the the media, all of them. Um, took that one, took that phrase that he said out of context and they're making it sound like he's talking about that. We're going to go to, go to the streets and, you know, and it, we're going to, there's going to be literally a bloodbath if he were to lose. It's not what he meant, but Chris has a video because all the, all everybody on the left is just saying, how dare he say that? I mean, it's so, it's so unorthodox. What kind of man would say something like that? I mean, what is this guy? A lunatic? Ugh. And then of course we're going to play something here that shows that strangely enough, he wasn't the only one that used that phrase. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, hold on a second. All right. Can you tell me yeah. if you can hear it? Yeah, that's Mr. Maldo. Politico.com reports tonight on the quote bloodbath at the RNC. Headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath. Yeah, bloodbath. Not only is it going to be a bloodbath, but after they leave New Hampshire, it's a bloodbath on her home turf. That's really and tough. Trump has left a lot of corpses in his wake. I mean, we yeah. can count the bodies as part of the, quote, MAGA drive to take over Maricopa County. And the headline refers to it as an impending bloodbath. Columnist Charles Blow has a new piece for The New York Times entitled A Biden Bloodbath. 2018 midterms, you can bet that they 100 percent are fearing a slaughter. In fact, the word blood. Yeah. Bath and massacre come up frequently. The Republican Party will be destroyed. It's going to be a bloodbath. There's going to be a bloodbath one way or the other. Bloodbath blood for Bernie Sanders. It's been a bloodbath there, shaping up to be a bloodbath. Head off a bloodbath in next year's crucial midterm. Off year elections are often a bloodbath. This week's bloodbath for Democrats, a bloodbath at the ballot box. There could be a Republican bloodbath. They'll talk about a bloodbath. It's a bloodbath. I have to talk about you. And it's going to be a bloodbath all day long. Is in for a bloodbath. Hasn't been a bloodbath on the way down. Donald Trump bloodbath be a bloodbath. Predicted to be a bloodbath. May not be the bloodbath. It would be a bloodbath. More of a bloodbath. It's going to be a bloodbath in November. Possible Biden bloodbath <laughs> this November. A bloodbath on Wall Street. There's going to be a bloodbath in, in Alabama into a bloodbath. Obviously, there was a bloodbath. It was a bloodbath. We're down 800 points. This bloodbath at Department of Homeland Security. And it's a bloodbath today. There was going to be this bloodbath. Election bloodbath. It, it could be a bloodbath for them. Bloodbath, possibly. Bloodbath that went through with the attorney general. Bloodbath 99 days out. The bloodbath is going to look like presided over a bloodbath in the diplomatic corps. Salute, in my opinion, blood blood. blood bloodbath the democrats are calling it a ticket sales turned into a bloodbath ticket sales for singer taylor swift's latest tour it's safe to say the fans had a, a bloodbath for the company after the fiasco 
<laughs> he ended it with Taylor Swift. So the point is that okay, yeah, Swifties are coming for us now. Yeah, right. Man. <laughs> what a bunch of yeah. yahoos, man. Well, yeah. that's the, the the whole point of it is that it's it. It's probably they did the same thing every time that he says something, and it's not just him. That if you go back to like Romney, and you just go back, and it's like guys, just this is where people pick up these um independent you know social media like uh x and stuff like that like benny johnson that came from benny johnson it's like i I mean you make these guys so much more popular if if this is what i would envision if legacy media would come out and say okay we've destroyed the trust with you we're gonna give you the information and let you decide and and just that I think people would start being like, all right, start coming back. But nobody trusts them. Nobody. I mean, even the the hardcore liberals that I know are like, oh, I don't even watch them anymore. <laughs> you know? So that's the problem with news is it's not just giving you the just like they'll show a clip, but then they give you their thoughts on the clip. I don't want your thoughts. That's yeah, not they're, 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 yeah, thought. they're supposed to be I want journalists, but news. they're they're what well, they op eds, right? You know, and it's yeah. like, whoa, whoa. They're, narrating. They're, they're narrating their thoughts inside of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I, that's that's the one thing that I just I, I like, can't tell me it's going to be sunny either. outside. Don't tell me you hate when it's cloudy. You know, just exactly. say, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I don't want your yeah. opinion. Yeah, I cannot even. Yeah, that comment, man, I, I can't even that that tears me up. I can't believe that we're doing, you know, another thing that that I, I know Same here, biz. Same here, coming biz. off coming off my off the top of my head is like I explain this to me though. So for the last what, what are we talking about? eight years, we have been listening to Russia collusion, right? So they're saying an outside power is interfering in our elections, right? So then why they, there's a couple of there's a couple of people that um that I've uh, a couple of reports that that politicians are trying to get uh, illegals to be able to vote yep. in, in local elections. Um, and I don't know if it will be national, or whatever or state elections, where, but like local elections, Flor- Florida, they're knowing it. I'm not Florida, uh, California. They're trying to. Do yeah. It, you know? And my thing is, if we're so concerned about non-citizens interfering in our elections, then what's the difference with these local elections having non-citizens voting? I, I mean, it's, it's like hypocrisy to me. It's like well, you're well, well, Chris. It's very simple because they'd be voting for the Democrats. You know. Well, of I course, mean, of, of course they want that. You know, I, I used to, I used to be like, well, what I used to remember them telling me, well, both Republican and Democrats want illegals in here. Because uh, Republicans want cheap wage, cheap cheap labor, and Democrats want, um, you know, voters, right? And I used to think, okay, so they're both. They both want this. Right. And I, I agree. They they probably you know they're still same sides of the same side of the coin here. Same coin to two different sides. They're still the same coin. However, it's very evident now there is a fra- there is a faction of the Democrat Party <clears throat> that they straight up want illegals in here. There there have been. <clears throat> millions since Obama has or, or, or uh, Biden has been president that have come in. Seven million. It's like seven, over seven million. million. And where are the hell are they at right now? They ain't going. I know Trump says if he becomes president, he's going to do this deport. He ain't deporting seven million. I'll tell you that right now. He may get half a million or something out, you know I mean? Before, and they're going to be all kinds of, they're going to come at him, you know, with all kinds of cases and everything. But point is, is they're here and uh living in the airport in tents in chicago yeah yeah you know look as as an american people citizen, in chicago are mad i have seen a bunch of videos yeah, yeah. That, like this i went to pick somebody up there's a whole section that's closed off and it's all the illegals there dude man it baggage yeah. claim well, the, just, the democratic my, my, my mama go, sorry terry go ahead so the democrats are losing their biggest every four-year voting base they're waking up Oh, they're losing them now. My neighbor, the the one neighbor that I had that was like hardcore liberal, um, he's yeah. now saying he's an independent. Yep. So and, and, and but he, he, man, I think four everybody years ago, should be independent. I think everybody he, four should be independent. Four years ago, he was like, uh, I will never ever vote nothing but this Democrat. <laughs> it's like 
I can't vote Democrat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. You there's know, so I, many more like conservative black talk show hosts now that are coming out and educating their neighborhoods and yeah. it's, it's making inroads. I mean, and so they're losing that vote that Eisenhower made that famous quote, which I can't quote on here about certain. Oh, not Eisenhower. That's uh, LBJ, Johnson. LBJ. LBJ. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Know, they're, they're, they're I'll, I'll, say, I'll say it. No, I'll say it. <laughs> no, but I know exactly what you're talking. You know, my, my dad uh, 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 would tell me about LBJ all the time. Like, you know, he said this one thing, and it's been true. You know, and it's the truth, right? Um, it's exactly what. But they are waking up. You know, I, I have. Uh, you know, I'm obviously Hispanic. Obviously Hispanic. If you guys didn't know that, I'm. I've a. Oh, really? I'm a what? I'm of Hispanic it, descent. Is you know? whole, You're is Irish. Household, <laughs> household minority, yeah. Family, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I come. You know, my my daughters are half Asian. My wife's Hispanic. I'm Hispanic. So I'm all mixed up. I'm a mutt, right? The thing is, is this is that, look, as an American, especially someone that's from Texas, um, you know, I'm concerned. I'm absolutely concerned about the crime that I see going that's rising here. And I live in the Houston you know, area out, outskirts of Houston. But when I go in the city, it looks like, looks like Chicago, no pun intended, but it looks crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just, it's just I don't even crime. Go to the city it, I mean, if the thing is, is you can literally go literally cross a freeway, cross a neighborhood and it looks like third world, you know, right. and it never used to look like that. You know what I mean? It never used to look like that. And that's only happened in the last, you know, 30 years, you know, and, and yep. uh, as I've been paying attention and, and uh, I've had daughters, I want my kid. Oh yeah. And in Chicago, it's like Detroit, right? Or even Detroit. It's like, you literally go one block over, boom, it, you're in third world, man. It's dangerous. I remember going up to the window city, windy city many times up in Chicago. And I just remember just like, they were telling me, look, you can, you know, I'm on, I'm doing, I'm doing my thing, going to the restaurants and walking the city. And they're like, don't go over there. You will die. You know, I'm like, what are you talking about? And it's not like Texas where, you know, I, I can conceal carry or nothing like that. You know, I, mean, I can't take my arms with me. So here uh, it's a little different. However, um, I'm just really concerned. I'm really concerned where this country is going. Did they ever the fix the water in Flint, man? No, it kind of it kind of fizzled out. The whole story did. You yeah. know, like, like I live in a neighborhood where we're 95 percent Hispanic. And all of my my neighbors that are Hispanic. Uh, no, matter, no, matter, no matter how they got here or when they got here, they all want Trump to close the border. They're all voting Trump. Yeah. Because they're seeing that the right, not enough of the right people want to come over and make make better life because they empty out the, 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 the prisons and people come from other parts of the world to come in through the back door and bring fentanyl in. So, I mean, all my neighbors that um, get to go to high school that can't prove it, how they got here, <laughs> even they're all voting. And some of their parents don't speak any. Well, it's it's a to me. I see it a little bit different. I think it's uh, ignorance, stupidity. I, I think that if why would you want you're you're selling them false hope is what you're doing. So they get here. Maybe they maybe they're going to get some money. They're going to get itself a phone or something. They're going to get here. First off, the traveling, the 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 trafficking and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. all the different, the, the drugs, all that, they, they go through a quite a bit to get here. Okay. And some of them might, it might not be that bad or whatever, but a lot of them do. And then they're going to get here and they might get something for a little bit. Then if they get used to that handout from the government. When the government takes that away, they're screwed. Well, they're all screwed. the neighbors are, are, we call them tradesmen, the craftsmen. Yeah. They, they work, you know, like the bricklayers, their tile layers, their electricians, their framers, plumbers. And so that they just work all year round and they just swap out when they go slow, they jump mm -hmm. them. They all work together. And they're just, yeah. and, and, this and that's the only, my house. that's the only problem that I have with, with the whole situation is that, that, okay, they get here, you're going to take care of them for a little bit. And then, politics are going to change and they're going to cut it off and and then they're going to be stuck high and dry and it's like yeah. you sold them false hope in the beginning right so you know but. in the neighborhood that i'm at right now i mean there's still a lot of construction going on and uh i mean i i'd have to say every you know there's all the houses being built in this neighborhood there's probably 20 that i can count right now uh all i see are uh, men 
not women, maybe one or two women I'll see in there, but mainly men. Um, they're, they're on the roofs. They're, they're doing the framing. They're, they're building the houses. It takes them about three months to build the house or uh, just a bit longer, but they're all Hispanic. You know, uh, they look Hispanic. I mean, they could be. Well, I mean, it might be racist, but I think that I think Hispanic, uh, Hispanic people, I think that they are some of the most hardworking, dedicated to their job. They do so such good work on almost anything that they do. I mean, it's you know, Chris, it's something that I like it when they, you compliment me like that. I really no, that. I'm serious. I I mean, <laughs> and, and a lot of Asians. And you, I yeah. I work with a lot of different people, and I'm telling you, it's a. But I work with a that lot works. of great people in all races and stuff like yep. that. So it's it's a uh, little, I'm a little biased because people like say I'll the have, Greeks are the best. At, uh, well, yeah, the Greeks, Greeks, oh, the Greeks, Greeks are good at math and science. Okay, we've already established yeah. that Greek. Okay, we invented it all. That. Okay, I, yeah. I I I can see. You know, I, I've already we, we know we know that. <laughs> Uh, some of us on this panel, we love Whataburger, right? Oh, yeah. yeah I just, I wait, the only one, wait only one I go to listen. My, if anybody area, gets on here and says that they like that, what's that What's that one place? Yeah, so now, In-N-Out? Dude, you can't be on You can't be on here and yeah. say you like it like, now. Even like in Whataburger, oh, like ingredients, you know? And, oh, check it out. I got I to gotta interrupt everything. I don't want, I want to be gentle about it. I want to be careful about it. But my daughter sent me something from TikTok about someone having side effects to eating strawberries. Oh no, I don't think that's real. I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to say it on here, but I'll send it to you guys, and you guys yeah, are going to be it. like, "So he so was the right." <laughs> well, well, I, it's probably somebody over fifty, and their testosterone levels are below fifty. No, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got it, dude. All right, I'm gonna send it to you right now. I said like, it, man. I said it. Who the hell? Do, like, I still don't get that. Like, bro, dark chocolate covered strawberry. Dark chocolate covered strawberries. What? What? They're good. Yeah. Good. Hell, yeah, they're good. Hell yeah, they're I good. I was gonna send Chris Cruz some chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day. You might send them back to you. Return the sender. Yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're here from the in a coma. Come back to me, and they would have been smashed. Hey, what was like, looking at? Anger. Well, he's looking that up. What's your what's your second amendment vector on your on your wall? I can't make out what that is. Oh, we left shoulder Kryptonian. What is that? Oh. Say that again. What is on your back wall back there? I can't quite make up the gay. That's a, oh, that's an uh, your, your door stop. An, oh, my door stop. <laughs> yeah, what is that? That's an H and K uh, MP5 or SP5 actually. Okay. I can't yeah. make it out. It looks. I cool. actually got a little. I finally got a can on it. Uh, it's it's the Omega Nine K. I probably I'm probably gonna be doing a review on it. I love it, man. Silent. It's a suppressor. Um, but it's to me, it's made for that for that guy over there. But that's my doorstop. Thank you so much for 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 recognizing yeah. that. Nice piece yeah. of artwork. It is artwork. Yeah, it's just it's just it's so pretty. You know, it's iconic. You know, to me, that reminds me of um, Die Hard. You know, the best yep. Christmas movie ever made. You know what I mean? So even <laughs> Bruce Willis says that's it's Rambo. not a Christmas movie. I know. Even Bruce. Willis. Speaking of Bruce Willis, man, the guy, man, poor oh. guy, man. You know, I know what he, his health went to. You know what? Listen, I. I that's it's all it's all going to happen favorite, but that guy actors he's had a wonderful life though he has, i mean man. i couldn't you know right you're you know, right it's not like he it and you know he's got people that actually love him i'm talking about yeah. not only his family but which is most important his his entire family is there to take care of him which is which is what every man wants and every every human being wants right yeah. but you know he's left, definitely left a legacy he's going to be remembered not for how he was but or how he is but how he once was he made a lot of people like gave everybody. You remember being a man, being in those watching those movies. Like hell yeah, man! You just felt like he wasn't built like Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? But damn, I mean, but, but his man. acting, his acting, he just made you feel like he was a superhero. Right. Who is who's your favorite action hero from the eighties and nineties? Me, it's Bruce Willis. Mm, and I'll really? tell you, I'll tell you why. Because in the eighties, because Die Hard, obviously, um, because he was just normal. normal Die Hards were good movies. But when it, but in the '90s, I would say maybe early 2000s, he did a movie uh, called Invincible. Have you guys seen that one? Oh was yeah, where he played that to me that was amazing. I love I love I love M Night uh, Shyamalan. You know what I can't Shyamalan. Shyamalan. Yeah, that guy's Shyamalan. a really good director. Yeah, he, he did when he did that movie. I was like, it was com- it completely blew my mind. Terminator is not a Christmas movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Barry? Hey. Hell no! Nah, <laughs> Hell no! <nah. laughs> Barry says it's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. What about like uh, I like Kurt Russell too. He's liked him back then. Who's that? Who who is Kurt it? Russell. Oh yeah, Big Trouble, Little China. Yeah, I love me some Chris uh, uh, Kurt Russell. Tango, Kurt Russell. Tango and Cash. Yeah, Tango and Cash. Yeah, 
uh, Escape from California, Escape from New York. Remember those? Those are really good. Yeah, but da- hands down, Sylvester Stallone. Cobra? Okay, so eh, Cobra was good, man. Look, Rambo, look, look, Rambo was range, like so funny. But the range of movies. A boxer just knocking it out of the park. Rambo, or not Rambo, Rocky, Rocky Rambo, was the... He, Rocky, Rambo. Yeah. I can watch just Rocky name it all. time it's on. Hell yeah, dude. And Anytime I, I, and I want to go hit a bag, even though I'm too damn old to be doing that shit. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ro- yeah, you're right. I uh, bought Sebastian a bag Sloan. for Rocky. And, and even as he's old. The bags are hard. And you're right, you Chris. See, you know, yeah. Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone, is, is, he's in, uh, to me, he's different from all of them. He left he California. Is, and he's in he Florida is now. straight up. And he's yeah. a great actor, man. And he left think. California. Yeah, because yeah. You, can't, you can't. He Where's does. He, he does. Well, His story's really Florida. good, too. He's in Florida now? Yeah. He lives right down the road from mar lago Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I, like, I, I love Sylvester Stallone, man. Well, Chris I think, is telling uh, a story about his daughters and how he had his daughters trained by the Navy SEALs before they went to New York, right? Really? Yeah. That's yeah. badass, yeah. He's he it, it, he does a show with his daughters, man, and it, it's he did it, yeah, pretty good. But Tulsa King? Oh, I love I Tulsa he, King. Tulsa King, he just came out with it like last year. It's an excellent show. I love it's a Tulsa good show. King. Tulsa King, what I is mean, that? Is that what Sylvester Stallone? Yeah. yeah. He's the main character. Like a, he's a mob guy. He's a Guido. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it, so that's actually pretty good. Oh, actually, dude. Yeah, yeah I oh, thought okay, it was really good. Watch. Okay, I have to watch that. Yeah, he's I know what you're talking about. But if well, you take think, well, Sylvester Stallone, he does all kinds of movies. He does it where he's an action guy. He's a, I mean, even the last, in the last uh, First Blood movie that they had, that was a real good movie. That was a real that, good movie, yeah. man. I like, I like it was compl- completely politically incorrect. I love it, though, yeah. man. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> That's well, he, also he, does, he, he does oh, yeah, Expendables. He does Expendables are good. Expendables. He does yeah. the Guardians of the Galaxy. He's in those. He does. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, we he, can't he talk about did, Marvel. Those aren't actually movies, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, so for, for, I think Guardians is better though. So like, Guardians sure is funny. Like, Guardians is funny. That's a, I like of all the Marvel movies, Guardians is to me is actually it's entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. I like that Chris Pratt shit. guy. I like him. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Like, like Stallone, short, right? Yeah. He's a shorter guy. So, what's wrong with that? Okay, no, no, no. But you know how big his meat paws are? <laughs> no, nah, you got big old fish. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, but if you find some pictures in Expendables <laughs> where he's pulling that, that revolver out, like that thing is like, his hand small as <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I have to look at that. He's got what meat on his paws. I'm, I'm all Googling meat. the size of Sylvester Stallone's hands. That comes up my face. <laughs> no, 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 I, I bet. Like, no, what the hell are you looking at? Now we're going to have to start talking oh, about Trump again. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, uh, but a uh, keyword is meatballs, right? There you go. Meatballs, yeah. <laughs> Wait, man, he it's not his... as gay. Is what you no, mean? No, no, no. <laughs> his his hands look as big as Tyson's hands. You watch Tyson train just with his wraps. Oh, uh, you see uh, Tyson uh, training for that fight. Oh yeah, so, yeah. I, Logan Paul. He's still scary as hell. Dude, I wouldn't train. fight him. I mean, no. I would tell you something. Either. If Mike Tyson told me that he said, "Look, you're my bitch," I'd be like, "You're damn right, I'm your bitch." <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, never, never, I've like, seen Mike Tyson fight, on. dude. What did you say, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I would not take Mike a Tyson, that guy. dude. No. Never. No. And you know, I, I he's going to make fans. millions off this fight. I hope he does. You know, one of uh, the stipulations is it has to be the biggest pay per view of all time. I hope he does, man, because he got it. ripped. I'm he got bad. ripped by what the freaking Don King. King. Yeah. I listen, hope he makes billions, man. This one's going on Netflix. I heard. Yeah. Yes. Mike Tyson. In the 90s, it goes in down the 90s, as the I best fighter. All those, all, all those pay per views, all that kind of stuff. And when Tyson, right before Tyson went to jail, uh, Evander Holyfield, it was like he was like next up, like he had like the next up, and Evander Holyfield and Tyson in their prime. That would have been that would have been an excellent fight. Holyfield was a bad dude. Later. Holyfield was a bad dude, man. I got to meet Holyfield. I almost got to meet Tyson, and I, <laughs> I like exactly right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but dude, Tyson, man, to me, dude, he's an amazing. He's just an amazing thing to watch. Dude, he was um, training as a twelve-year-old. He's fighting twenty-one-year-olds in back room matches and stuff. He's he's in his fifties, right? Like he's 50, 57. He's like fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Yeah, fifty-seven. Yeah, he's older than us. Still scary. I would, I'm telling you, man. He will you guys got to watch that slap fighting. That yeah, is, I love it. Oh, I'm addicted man. to that crap. Slap fighting, what are you talking about? You stand there, and you literally slap the that. guy, yeah, yeah. and no, they no, have no, 30 yeah. seconds to recover, and then they slap you, and it goes on for three rounds. Yeah. These guys are nuts. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the knuckle, the bare knuckle boxing. That's no, crazy. Yeah. The That's super crazy. heavyweights get slapped, and the one guy goes, 
<laughs> right in the guy's face. And I'm like, what? You just got wamboozled. Yeah, I mean, nobody's These guys are. Yeah, and if this if this Tyson fight, you, you might be right. It might be a cash grab, but I'm telling you what, 100 is. If Tyson so. gets a hold of that guy, and it, he's going to do permanent damage, I'm telling you, I've never seen people like they don't talk the same after Tyson's hit him, man. They just uh, they don't walk right, they don't talk right, you know. And it's like <laughs> he's a, he was like devastating when you get hit. Well, what I like about him, man, he wasn't like six five, two fifty. The dude was yeah. like a average size guy man he hit like a he was supernatural when was the last time that he fought uh, Roy Jones, two, 2005 Jones. or something like that it was it was damn near 10 20, 15 years ago oh he did a he did a bout with roy jones uh it was, was a, that expedition or was expedition it like, yeah. they okay. gave him a draw which pissed me off because i bet on tyson to win well they did should have bet on the draw and you can see a couple times back then like tyson went for a headshot and slowed down because they had they had an agreement not to not to try to knock each other out yeah, they had headgear on because they had an agreement oh, to yeah. like. Well, I, I oh, heard it was I heard three years fight, ago. Oh, was it three? I heard this three fight they're not supposed. Tyson doesn't want, or maybe even Logan as well. They don't want it to be exhibition because then you have to put the gear on and they already filed the gloves. license in Texas, man. Yeah, TLR they filed a license yeah. for it. And Tyson's on uh, TRT, and one of the rules to get your license in Texas, you can't be on TRT. So how, oh, how soon before or after does it come off to test, or just test afterwards and? But he can't be on testosterone, mm. and that body he has is testosterone help body. Yeah, yeah, I mean at his age, obviously, you know. I mean, yeah, exactly. Not wrong with it. It's, nothing it's, wrong. Nothing wrong. With that's just natural, right? It's natural. Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, I don't know, man. I, I think Logan. I mean, what? How old is Logan? Like in his twenties? Twenty-seven. I mean, late twenty-seven. Yeah, he's he's young. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, don't, don't so you think it's going to be a legit fight? I, if they, they go, to. if they go. Pro, not exhibition. I think it'll be legit, but hopefully it doesn't turn out to what Logan did and and Mayweather because they fought too, didn't they? Where, yeah. where yeah. that was weak. That man. that was those two guys just taking a paycheck, and you could totally yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, I, I hopefully I I don't want to see what I don't want to see is I don't want to see Tyson get beat Hurt. the hell out of him. I yeah. don't, man. I love the guy, man. And um, they haven't but, announced how how long the rounds will be yet, and the metal they've not announced how many rounds will go. Okay. So, That's so why maybe, I maybe, maybe there'll be three minute rounds, 10, 12 rounds. I don't know what it's going to be, but, but I, hopefully if, if Tyson can go the distance, I don't need Tyson to knock him out because if he does, I won't be surprised. Oh, but he, if he doesn't. To. If he doesn't, I won't so be surprised. But what, I, but, but what I don't want to see I'm is, telling you, that's this is Gen X, man. This is the fuck yes, around and find out generation. And this right, is what right. Tyson's going to do. Go. There you go. There you go. It has there to be body blow, body blow, uppercut, knock him up off his feet. Yeah. Plant him. I've if, seen if, I've if seen Tyson loses. with that uppercut, man, and oh my god! I'm gonna tell you why. I you like, see their like their spirit man. comes out of their body. And I shit. was like eight years old. I bought yeah, the Mike Tyson punch out extension. Nintendo yeah. game, man, yeah. I, I, and I could never beat his ass in that damn Nintendo game until I was That's a damn teenager. Such man. a good old school game. Yeah, remember that game? I love that. So to me, man, Mike Tyson's just he, he's iconic to me. He he goes down as one of my favorite. Like that when I remember my childhood, I remember Mike Tyson. So, so I think he walks around about two twenty, gonna fight around two ten. I walk around at two forty, and I feel like I look small next to him. You know what? That's an interesting point that he's making here. Says what it'll end up uh, being a draw. Uh, will make Logan look of. good. Yeah, and I hope it's not that way. I hope it's a legitimate like Tyson goes out, messes around, Paul, and I hope that he doesn't go out there and act like he's you know. Even like if Tyson like, him and stuff. quits at, at the sixth round, right? But he gives the best six rounds of his life, and everybody's like, "God," because obviously his age. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, biology. You know, you can't, you can't, add, you can't be sixty years old fighting a thirty-year-old. Eh? You know, unless you're jacked up, right? But if he gives his his all, his all in, in half the rounds, and you can go, God, stop the fight. Fine, obviously it's over. He can't go the distance. But I want to see him. I just want to see Tyson at sixty-something years old. Be able to go toe to toe with a thirty year old. That's going to give me a, yeah, yeah. At my age, you know what I mean. I'm like, damn. If he could do it, shit, I need to get back in the gym, you know, right, Terry? You know, and I yes. get back on the mat, you know, and and uh, I'm four twenty. I mean, <laughs> Barry. And he wears Vans too. Who Tyson? Vans equal four twenty, basically. I hope. Yeah. I hope it's. I hope it's a legitimate fight. I mean, yeah. I and so, I hope yeah. nobody gets majorly hurt, but it's a legitimate fight, and they, yeah, and you know. If, if Logan Paul out there is he if he if he can box and everything that although 
that he one can, that he can punch he, though. I don't, I don't. He can hit though. I know that. I don't know about that. That dude. That that dude seemed like he had a glass jaw, man. I watched that that video repeatedly, and it was like, who, who dude, did he, he went against? down. Did he get knocked down? Who who knocked him out? No, no, the, the Paul brothers didn't get knocked out, but he knocked out. No, Whitley, he knocked out Woodley, the, the MMA fighter. He knocked out. Yeah. Oh, okay. the rest. And he of went. Him. He hit him, and bam! <laughs> I was like, dude. <laughs> Didn't he I, fight the NBA player? What's his face? Um, yeah, he knocked that guy when he was oh, he, kill, he killed him. He was that was it. I watched an MMA fight and I forget who it was, but he's one of the legends of like UFC one through five. And he was fighting a guy half his age. And like the first two rounds, he did great. Then he gasped. And he, he didn't oh, come you're, out. You're, ta- you're talking about Marshall, but um, hey, hey, we can't talk about this, dude. Oh yeah, we're talk about Fight Club. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk yeah. about. It. Uh, Mark, right. how you doing? I think I know you're about Kryptonian in the ring. Who wins? Who's that? Who? Who? Me versus Kryptonian. You versus? Uh, I would. I would say that you'd yeah, win because you have longer reach. Yeah, you're like what six nine compared to me. I can't hit anybody though. Yeah. Well, well his man, arms are his arms hang down to I'm his. I'm a knee. short guy, man. I'm a short guy, but I mean I can kick. But you he's know, five, eight? you can't kick I, far enough out. Me, I'm yeah. not five eight. I wish I was five eight. What? I just uh, you, you need oh, to get that for sure. I got a big advantage on reach. Yes, Greek is always going to be a distance fighter, and uh, Krypton, you're always going to be up close melee fighter. I can grapple, right? I mean, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you have to because you can't. But because they can literally like, hold you back and beat the <laughs> shit out. of you. hugging constantly. I'm five five. I'm five five. I'm a little guy. I'm a little guy. So here's the Rick, thing. But I can kick though. I can six, kick. Six and, and I've I fought, you know, I used to do you know karate and all that shit. Uh taekwondo. Um I had obviously my legs are longer, so I I, I how that, tall that, how tall are you? Five five. No, Greek. Six so. foot. Why is it being still years? Let's do it, dude. Let's do it. Let's go. All well, I can say this Greek yeah, is I'm, 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 I hope I'm your like, knees are good, man, because I'm gonna take them out. I like to I'm like five ten, five eleven. You're a little taller than me. Yeah. There's some six well, in that picture. He looked a little bit taller than he was thinking. I remember you guys took a picture. Yeah. Of yeah. I thought well, he was Rick, saying, I thought he was saying, I thought, I thought Terry said he was six, four. And I'm like, no, you weren't that much taller than me. I didn't I think wish I was six, was four. Up. I would have made it a lot further yeah. in my basketball career. Shit. I wish I was five, 10. <laughs> Terry, Terry's like six, two. Now I'm six foot, man. Big dudes. Yeah. Well, it's all good. Terry would kick the shit out of all of us and yeah, still will, not spill his, yeah. his drink. Will, man. <laughs> you just freaking did, did that damn. Dude, we'll like this. Show. Hold this for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terry would like, be like. Knife. Terry's like, I, we don't, he's got knives everywhere, man. He's like, <laughs> Terry will take that knife from you. And then yeah. he'd thank you. He'd be like, are you okay? You all right? I know I just kicked your ass, yeah, but are yeah. you all right? You okay? You're going to bleed right now. He's there, like Liam Neeson. I will find uh, you. He's a, I like him. He, I he actually trained in one of the arts I trained in. But I same, don't like Liam Neeson. No. I like some of his movies. Like Taken? No. Like, some of his movies are good, fine. They just but, have to keep going with it. Just, right. I've, I've made a personal a decision that I am not, not going to participate in any of these goofballs out there that – make movies and and uh matthew mcconaughey is the same way yeah uh these guys make these movies about shooting guns and all this kind of stuff and all this violence and everything and then they go on these tirades about how gun control people people shouldn't have guns and all that kind of stuff and it's like i mean matthew mcconaughey went to the white house and was talking about it and i'm like dude you you're sitting there making money off of he made that movie what the gentleman I literally everybody in that movie is killed by him or his his bodyguard. I mean, he's shooting yeah. everybody, and he then a a month later he's in the White House saying that we need gun control. That is true. He so you got teenagers, down. teenagers sitting there that. watching that that gentleman movie, you know, and seeing how that they glamorize all that kind of stuff, and then go you know <laughs> do something stupid. Okay. You know, it's like you you need that, to. Be, that's why can, I like Keanu Reeves because Keanu Reeves actually. Uh, trains and stuff. This stuff. He trains yeah. this stuff. Yeah. You yeah. know, you know who his trainer is. What right? Terran Tactical? Is it he's a Terran yeah. Tactical? Yeah. Is that my buddy with Halle Berry and all that? Mm-hmm. My buddy's a nice guy too. That print that system yeah. really nice in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Ganjitsu? Or something no, like it's, that? it's no Chris said it. Terran no, Tactical. Terran Tactical. Well, there, there's a guy that actually uh what's his name? Um something well, he said I, I whoop all you guys, but I'm too nice. Listen, I it, thanks. I appreciate what, that. Thank you. I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody's gonna whip my ass because 
I, I carry every day and you'd be on the ground. Like, yeah, I'm too old to throw, if you I'm get too old to throw punches, man. Some, I mean, I will, if I have to, right. The Greek um, carries yeah. the all natural. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, just because Look you got that. tats, don't mean you yeah. got tat, right? I know it yeah. hides it hides the flaps. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know yeah. what the problem is with this generation with getting tats now is back in the day in Chris's day when you had a tat like that, that's a bad motherfucker over there. Don't mess with him. He got tats. Yeah, now, now you're just he just guy. got out of prison, but now you yeah. got tats. It's like, is that a we, what you are his pronouns? Is, tats, that's like, a he him over there. You see a young guy with tats, you're like, yeah, he's yeah, he's like. They got pronouns and shit. You know, it's like you know, you already know. It's 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 just for show, right? It's just for show. That's why Alec Baldwin got in trouble because he's a gun guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a gun yeah. guy. Yeah, right? yeah. For that's real. that's a tragic situation. There. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I not heard a big they, fan I heard they opened him, up the but... case again. I heard they opened up the case again. They like, did. Yeah. There's only yeah. one YouTuber I'd, I'd want to um, put hands on, but we don't talk about him by any of his names. Who's he that? used to make funny videos, and we always talked to him a long time ago. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. was ready to. I was gonna say, I used yeah, to I remember that guy. Videos. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Oh, he, him. He goes by. They, he them. Goes... He's a they, them, he. He's a they, them. Hey. <laughs> I remember that guy. I'm That's very docile. Right. The older I get, the more docile I am. So. The more docile. Yeah, I... Actually, the the older you get, the more Lori's keeping your mouth shut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, it's not worth my life. She uh, she must be in the other room right now because in a few okay. minutes he's gonna get yelled at. <laughs> what are you talking about on that <laughs> internet? <laughs> you talk oh, about no, that she's internet. walking in now. I yeah, heard. you heard Chris <laughs> talking about uh, just defending, your, right? defending yourselves as a, as a human. He's being. Defi- he's defending your honor. That's what he was doing. He's defending. Yeah, as long your as honor. I'm defending her, I do what I want. But I just can't like get mad enough to. There's times I can't go to the grocery store because I'm just not in the mood to be around people. What's that picture of Chris? Oh, it's a soap. Oh, got the soap already yeah. showing you. Oh, oh man, I, I use mine all up, guys. That stuff was good, by the way. <laughs> you don't. You, you shouldn't use it up. You take no, little no. pieces of it. I, that's what I'm talking about. He's like, oh yeah, it smells good. It's it. I had it in my office, and then I have it in my office at, the, at work. Greek, I need I need your address. So Greek, good. This, this one makes me hungry, Chris. It smells good. Does it? Which one is that soap is it? It looks like a brownie. <laughs> yeah, that looks, yeah, that looks like one of those chocolate ice creams. Like, like a s'more. Is that peanut butter? No. Is, that, is that a Twix? That will... <laughs> oatmeal. Here, smell it. Mm, oatmeal. If you can give me your address, uh, uh, somehow Greek, I'll, I'll send you. Oh, just um, ask Brian Legend. He flashed it all over the internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go to, yeah. Okay, go to there's the... two YouTubers I may want to put my hands on. That's the second one. <laughs> Oh man, that guy. Barry, what are you talking about, Barry? I don't weigh that much. <laughs> but see, I just tell folks that Chris has the uh the pressure sensors in his driveway and then his German shepherds are trained. So yeah, they come out. They fly. Says, oh, I got moves. the I got the camera. <laughs> we sent you the the, the bourbon, the bourbon one, one, right? Yeah, that, that bourbon one's gone. The one that's uh, here now is yeah, uh the sandalwood. This is the one we sent you. you that's the bourbon. That's the bourbon one. Yeah, that's the one that's in my bathroom. So when you cut in small pieces on your on your drives. To the- yeah, I asked Lori <laughs> one time. I was like, Lori, should I, should I cut pieces up and like put them in pocket the, when I go to on dates and stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> so you do date? Fucking do it. Damn. Well, thing he's got oh, I, oh yeah. And you, oh, in yeah, your um it. inside your castle. That you're living in right now? My castle, yes. Castle uh, law. My whole, my whole, castle yeah. law. Castle law. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Castle law. Um, do you watch those furnitures that have the magnet locks that allow you yeah, instant like access your to your... Um, I have those room. all over the place. Yeah. Nice. Every three steps. Every three steps. So, you know, I like I love me some Kevin Hart before he got all woke, but Kevin Hart does a very... The, the comedian... It's a pug. Right. He does, he does a... Have you seen his, his gun safe? Have you seen his, his, his gun compartment bit? Kevin Hart, the no. comedian? Google it. It's hilarious. That's my yeah. house. All right. It's funny. Cause he actually gets robbed. Right. So he got robbed up in California, you know, where, you know, in, in communist California, whatever you call it. Yeah. And then, um, he, so he, he made a comedy bit on it about how now he has guns all over the house. So go- Google it, Kevin Hart. Well, I, have, I have a, when it comes to Kevin Hart, I have a little bit of leeway on that because he like literally didn't really do anything wrong. And they all came after him and tried to cancel him and he lost his, uh, what was he doing the Oscars or what was it one of the yeah, shows that yeah, he was yeah. doing? And like I thought it wasn't bad what he said, but it was like, dude, he, he, 
it's like he hardly did anything so he just and they still went after him stays yeah, back kind of, you know it still went after him and you know he, he's doing good i mean I, I, he's hilarious i think he's one of the funniest comedians out there you know yeah. i mean he um he's he's the to me he's the as funny as eddie murphy you know and i'm, and I'm just saying he's, he's just eddie so murphy crazy. man eddie murphy back in the day and then hollywood, yeah, yeah, yeah. hollywood turned on him too yeah man oh yeah they, they turn hollywood on, turns on everybody, everybody. Yeah, eventually they do. Well, it's one of those things that they love you until they hate you. Yep. Yeah. Which about like I don't train as much as I used to. I don't train at all. I just kind of do things. I've had some people come come around. Hey, do you do private sessions anymore? I'm like, I don't know because I, no, I don't want to get back <laughs> to being beat up all the time. Yeah, yeah. Terry, be like, uh, what are we gonna get, Terry? What, remember when we were when I go down there, we're gonna go. What were we gonna eat? We were gonna eat a steak or something like that. What were? We... Oh, I forget. But thank we you. were talking about that, and we were gonna have uh, we're gonna eat steak and drink bourbon, and have Lori come pick us up. Yeah, because there's once I start drinking that, I can't I can't get in a car. I mean, I can't get yeah. in the front seat. Well, if you're gonna be in Austin eating steak, <laughs> drinking bourbon, you better call my ass. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> All right, I'll be. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, we're yeah. gonna be a good time. Go smoke some cigars, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I, that's. Yeah, that I can do whole, cigars. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn that off. But I'll show. I'll show you guys backstage that all my bourbon over there and my cigar, my human yeah. humidor. Humidor steakhouse is about ten minutes from my house, so like five star restaurants. What was the, the one we were talking about? Like some big big steaks or something. What, what was it? A restaurant or something? Yep, yeah, I'm not sure which one it was. It was a long time ago. Yeah, we were going. Like we were like going to go to this restaurant. It was something like you go to this restaurant and they you eat uh, you eat a certain amount or whatever and it's free, and uh, oh, we a, were gonna we were gonna go do that and then we we're gonna go home and take a nap and go do it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're taking a hibernation. You ain't taking a nap. Dude. You're taking a. You know that reminds me of Uncle Buck. Remember that movie Uncle Buck? Where yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, and it, you can't do that, man. It, it, if it's free, it, it ain't worth it. Okay, I'm telling you that right now. The old ninety six. Oh, totally yeah, like yeah, 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 the old ninety six. <laughs> you feel like shit for three days. You're like, forget this. <laughs> Not me, man. Man, I love red meat, man. Just, just, I, I feel good. You feel like days. it because you feel like shit because you can't shit. That's the problem. You know, it's just like no, get out of no. my body, man. <laughs> hey, you eat good meat, man, and you, man. you know the difference. I ate a five ounce yeah. steak Same last man. weekend, Sorry. and I was. Uh, stuck I a lot of you, you know, you know, it's good when it can be. Four to five ounces, six ounces, and it you know, and that's enough, right? That's it's just well, that's more than enough yeah. for me. Tender man, tender. get some bison steak. You're trying bison, bison steak. Bison yeah, I had good, a yeah. steak uh, with uh, Greek. You you had steak when we went there, right? Did you have steak that night? I think I did because you guys all were steak. And I, he didn't get I, but I took nuggets. half of it home because you know I can't finish anything. Yeah, yeah. But we, yeah, I had a couple of fillets when we were there. So, so when you work a couple muscle on Greek man, um, yeah, I'm putting, yeah, you know, I mean, if you want if protein, you want, bro, oh, yeah. I'm starting to lift now, and I've actually gained 30 yards up back on my golf drive. So I'm nice, like getting that strengthening. Going. 30 yards, that is awesome. That is well because I lost all the weight, so I got down to where, like, when you saw me, I was paper thin, like two. I was 165. Whoa. Yeah, you were thin. I was thin. like. I would lost a lot of my muscle and my drive. I was averaging like 285 on my drive and I was down to 240 last year. It was really bad, but I was still fine with other clubs. Now I'm up to 270 back on the drivers. There you go. Nice. Nice. We're getting there. Yeah, where, I, you know, where do you want to be? Like, where do you want to be? What, what's your average? What, 330? That's what, that's what most everybody shoots for like 330. <laughs> Come on, John Daly, what you got there? Right now, I'm happy with where I'm at because I'm actually the most accurate I've ever been. 285, oh. I'm happy where yeah. I'm at. <laughs> yeah. In terms of weight, I'm back up to 182 now. So that's, weight, my, that's a good weight for your oh, height. That's nice. a good weight for your height and everything, right? Yeah, the Is doctor, that... this was the doctor's orders. He said I got too thin. I'm like, you oh, did yeah. such a good job. So what's yeah. so, like. like What's up? Yeah, you. Yeah, what's up, Gus? Oh, there you go. What's up, Bud? Haven't seen haven't seen in a while, man. Good to, good to hear from you, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're still traveling in the country there. Yeah, traveling around. I'll be doing some traveling real soon. When, when's graduation? Uh, June what? 
May, May twenty sixth. But it's not even that. We'll probably be. He won't even make his graduation. We'll be in Destin by then. Good for him. He's he's gonna. Never mind. That's personal life. I don't know in the world. Yeah. Is. Yeah, and we're gonna get some tattoos, and we're gonna be like uh, hanging out, and then uh, we're gonna right. do our go our separate ways for a bit, and let him go uh, do his thing. Come back and compare notes. Yep. Yeah, my wife worked. My wife and I. We, besides last week, because we had all three grandkids here, and my oldest daughter here, and then my fourth grandchild was here a couple days in the week. We've been working out four days a week consistently for a few months now. Yeah, I know you sent you sent me that message when he was like, "It's like, how's your day been going?" We went, went worked out everything like that. I said, "Damn, dude, he's an hour behind me, and he's out there." I was like, "No, nah, I just got out of bed, man." Well, when I when I was forty eight. I was deadlifting 550 pounds. Yeah, but you had an act. You you didn't you tur- rotator cuff? Is that what it was? What? Yeah, that was way after that. But yeah, that's you know when I was teaching martial arts back then. When I was in my peak physical fitness in high school at 205, I ran a 4440. You know, so oh, I was the opposite. I I I had a I was built, but I ran like a turtle. I ran like a you know, but, I ran the 40 four years ago, and it was like. Eight and a half seconds is great. Yeah, still, me. I pull my hamstring now. The forty be like three and a half minutes with me stopping to get a smoke and then like a, a bourbon on the way. And yeah, I tell folks, only <laughs> like a cigar. Because you touch my kids or my I wife. Run. Like, you yeah, I don't. Run. If you see me, I tell my kids all the time. You ever see me running? Someone's coming after me. Yeah. Or you better run too, because something's gonna explode. <laughs> if you see me run, there's a comet about to hit. Run for yeah. your life. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't I'll just call the bank and cancel my credit cards. Let me do. I'm not chasing you. Anybody. You and Lori <laughs> run a lot, don't you? We work out. We don't run. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you guys were running the other day. We wanted to run, but I just, my knees can't take it. And at the gym we go to, their ellipticals are, are horrible. And I can't really run on a treadmill. I up my, I've been in combat sports since the third grade. So I tore my knee wrestling the very first time, third grade. First year I was a, all division champion, and then I was all regional in my second year. And then I've been everything ever since then. We just things get beat on. But the last concussion I had during my last car wreck, dude, that messed me up for a month. I was like concussion drunk for a month. The key is to uh, you say a month, month or you still are. <laughs> well, because <laughs> there's I, times that I'm talking to you, I'm like, man. <laughs> no, there are no, there's there's some residual um effects, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, every once in a while, I'm like, I'm not sure if he knows I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, and I try to text real fast, but my texts come out worse, and I'm like, I just, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, every once in a while, I'll be like, it's too early in the day for him to be drunk, so I think he's just not, either yeah, he, that, he's trying yeah. to do it too fast or whatever. But yeah, that's cool. So, Gus, where where are you stuck in Florida? How can you be stuck in Florida, man? That's yeah, like I'd be. be stuck in Florida. Stuck in vacation. He could be in the villages, Chris. He could be in the villages. Oh, in the villages. Yeah, yeah, he's stuck. Know. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't going to catch me in the villages. Nope. Destin, in, Destin's in my Disney. place where I go, so that, that's yeah. that's where I like to be. in Disney. Yeah, I don't want to be in Disney either. Mm-hmm. That's the world of the world, isn't it? Yeah. My brother just took his kids to Disney. He's like, it's nuts. Don't take three year olds to Disney. It's bad. They come back like eight year olds. It's crazy. It's a, it's so he came back. He's like, never again. They're running all over the place. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sensitive. my daughter's about ready to my my one daughter's about ready to come back uh, from Alaska. Nice. She'll be she'll be in Florida probably the end of the year, and then my other daughter is having her first baby in June. So, oh, nice. That's so cool, man. Congratulations. Yeah, I got to run down to Destin the beginning of June and be back for the end of June. <clears throat> yep, my oldest. I remember she's getting married here in a few months, uh, up in August, and uh, <laughs> she called me today and she's like, "Hey, Dad, uh, you know, I'm going to go to the doctor and." Um, you know, just get ready for when we get, you know, get her whole health thing going. So, um, it's like, what do you, is everything okay? She's like, well, you know, I just want to make sure like that, you know, when I get ready to have a family and I'm like, wait, what? Hold up. Arr, you know, pump your brakes, kid. You know, like, hold on. You got to get married. Well, what first, do you think you, know? you get married? What well, you think, I know, like... but you know, I, I'm not a grandpa yet. You know, I'm not ready for that. I actually, oh. you know what? 
It's I, awesome I, being a grandpa. You just get it's one. Yeah, you can spoil the kids when you're a grandpa. Yeah. I, I, oh, I, guess, I know. I'm not. I, at first, I was like, whoa, whoa. But that's why I miss an uncle. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. Even being an uncle, uncle and grandpas problems. are great. I just oh, yeah. spoil them and then I'll go go back to your father now. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so what do they call you? They just call you what Theo or Theo? What do they call you, Uncle? What, what's the Greek uncle, word for Uncle? Theo AJ. Theo. 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 Yeah, I'm a Theo as well, and oh. uh, it's cool, right? But my 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 nieces are the same age as my daughters, so I don't have I don't have any nephews, and um, so not my girls are my in my family, and um. It's cool. Uh, I wish they were. I had some 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 younger ones though, because I, I like to spoil them. Kind of. Oh like man! Every on. time my daughter gets on the phone with me when she's in Alaska, and the kids are on there. They're in the background. She always Facetimes me, and I'm like, "You want to come to Papa's house? I got ice cream and candy, and no <laughs> no bedtime, right? No bedtimes. Yeah, we don't. No sleep. bedtime. We don't sleep here. <laughs> my my granddaughter. She's like. Papa, mama, mama won't let me do. She said something. I said, "Oh, tell her that Papa said it was okay." Yeah, <laughs> and she gets so mad. My daughter's like, "Stop!" You know, it's funny, but she won't do something. I'm like, "I don't care." Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. yeah. how you like the apples? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It, she can come. Yeah. She can come to Papa's house and get away with murder. <laughs> yeah, like remember all those times? You know, <laughs> Marshall wants to know what Chris's loof is. What's that? Loofah be great. What? What color are your loofah? Because <laughs> it's up with the soap, I think. Yeah. <laughs> kind of oh, I well, I don't know if I use the soap, but you know that uh, men's uh, something, but it's a like a scrunchy thing with like a pad, you know. Yeah. I forget what it is, but I have one of those things. I think it does great for your skin. Yep. It does. I don't know if that if he was meaning that seriously or if I, I, just, yeah. I have absolutely no idea what you guys are talking about. I'm gonna bring it up. America. The damn screen so done. Like <laughs> sunlight's my sun's is my my freaking moisturizer. You, know? you don't you don't you don't use like uh, like any kind of like a uh, like a scrunchy thing. You just no because like, my wife uses it when she's not using. I don't want to ask for it. It's kind of weird, awkward. Right? You put you like soap doing? on your hand and slather it around and everything. Well, I, you know, I have some nice smelling soap. Well, actually, it's you know, very white uh, on. It's very Mr. white Mr. on. Mr. Terry sent me. Uh, Miss <laughs> Carol over there sent me something. You know, it smelled really good. But uh, you know, I like the um, I like to smell good. Don't get me wrong. But you know, um, I've 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 always had the the blessing of having soft skin. You know, I don't I've never had I've never had. A, oh, oh, so you're a keyboard warrior. That's why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never. Man, you gotta get out. You gotta I get out. To work outside. Well, yeah, you know. That's, yeah, that's, he's got to get his hands dirty. Look at yeah. the man over here. Man. Yeah, don't you drive a truck? I know you ain't talking Greek for you, keyboard <laughs> warrior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, you type 80 words per minute. Come on, man. <laughs> Damn, the skin's coming out of my hands. They're so washed, yeah. you know? <laughs> Shit. Terry, I can't say nothing because he, he, like, he breaks arms and stuff. And and, yeah. and you got Chris I just, up there. I just do this really bad. Cut hair. CIA operative, you know? So, But me, I'm just, you know, I'm just an IT. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to talk about that anymore. That's redacted. <laughs> like, redacted. You have been redacted. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you're going to cash that. You're like, whoa! <laughs> I heard it. I was like, <laughs> nope. It's three God, socks. I not. That I guess one of my sense of peanut butter of cream. No, I don't know. <laughs> some of the friends is talking about some blockchain coming out. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, speaking of blockchain guys, you know, guys, you know, guys, I'm I'm involved in uh, Light Labs or Prism Prism Chain, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, we got it's 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 amazing what's happening in the back end. There's a lot of things happening with it. Um, it it's it's the whole Cosmos network, the whole that whole thing. It's a, that's a that's a conversation for another live. But but um, I, I all I can say is this is that wow you know uh what 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 these guys have been able to do in in the background and no one really knows what's happening with it you know it's kind of been the background it's kind of the guys are developing it it's coming together like so it's like like butter like everything is falling into place i'm I'm so i'm I'm able to be a part of it i really am these guys and i've always known i've always said that uh, if you remember me from back in the day i've always said that crypto will be my last frontier or my final frontier you know and uh, so I, I'm just amazed to be a part of of, of the prism the prism uh, chain blockchain you know which is 
which is a uh, part of the Cosmos Network. So uh, Calichain coin is going live tomorrow, and this is what Friend says, right? Right. On Mex Mexi, I guess that's that. That's the exchange, right, Mexi? It's a blockchain that goes listed one month from ICO finishing. Looks fantastic project. I'm sure Vitru can list. Can get listed as well. Easy, Nick. Making excuses, I think. Well, you know, speaking of Vitru, uh, Vitruvio, <clears throat> has anybody got their validators up? I don't have validators, so no. I oh, sold mine. You sold yours, yeah. Um, I know that there, there are lots of validators now, right? They're, they're, yeah, I know NR right? was getting his eight up. I think the thing holding back Vitruvio is money. They don't have LP. Mm-hmm. I hate yep. to say it. Anybody no, watching no, is like, it, and, it. and I, I would say this, you know, at the end of the day, you can go grassroots and, and try to get the community to build things up. But I don't care whether you're, I don't care what business or what idea you have. It takes money to do anything at the end of the day. And uh, it, you can't spend pennies and expect to make millions. I'm sorry. You've got to throw money at this thing. It needs money. To, uh, otherwise, you're going to have a failure to launch. And I, I'm hoping I hoping the money comes in, you know. Um, and it was put in a tough spot. So, like, by me saying this isn't, like, anything against, but, like, it's a t- terrible spot. You know, Brian did his thing. They needed to yeah, revamp, yeah. redo, rebrand, do a lot of things. But as of now, the multi-sig sits at 200000 Where's the other money coming from for LP, for everything? Yep. It's like there's no LP for this, right? So, two thousand is gonna get can, can get washed up pretty quickly. You know? um, it will uh, get washed up. So now that's why you're seeing this airdrop thing, trying to get other people. And I'm yeah. I'm thinking all this is ways to get other people in. Then they're doing the locking up of Vitru, trying to get people to lock up because the more people have unvested Vitru, I'm I'm just this is just from an outside perspective you know yeah because you're because you're no longer you're no longer vested i no longer have any skin in the game Mm -hmm. any skin in the game i saw a better opportunity which is why your uh your opinion your 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 basically your top your your outside in you've been in now you're out so your opinion matters in this regard yeah plus a lot of people were asking why did i sell out why did i do this i never was planning on getting rid of my node i sold out on the um otc all my coins because i saw opportunity to go into bitcoin at the point bitcoin was still at 40k when i did this so i was like oh man this is great now look at where bitcoin is i'm almost 2x on that so that was fine i wanted to get in other investments so then i um got offered to sell my node (laughs) that's a good one actually why does that look like a jock yeah (laughs) where does that go exactly it's got one rough side and one. Yeah, that's. Oh, a good that's one. his loofah. That's, oh, that. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, I'll be ordering. Yeah. Well, you know, that's how I look in the shower too. Yeah. I was gonna say, well, there's no t- there's no tat, so it's not you. That looks more like me than yeah. you. But let's. Yeah. <laughs> that guy does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's actually pretty. So that's what you're using, Chris, right there. That's what he's using. Hmm. We Chris, can't hear you. We can't hear you talking about your shower moments. You're muted, Chris. You're on mute. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, I'm not scared to talk about it. That's what I use. Yeah, I'm scared. I use essential oils. I'm glad you don't. Not afraid to talk scared. about. It. Just don't show pictures, okay? I don't want to see pictures. Okay. Right, Listen, just... if women can sell their feet pics, <laughs> well, I can say shit. so much that my better. arm begins. <laughs> a little bit there next. I want to apologize because I had no idea he was going to take it in that direction. I think that yeah, uh, seriously, I speak for all men out there. <laughs> that was gross. That was gross, Chris. You do that again, <laughs> and it's time out again. So. I'm gonna have a whole fan. I'm gonna have a, one of them uh, only fans. fans fan sites. What what is it? Only fans, just for only feet. fans. I'm gonna have a only fans for me scrubbing my shoulders with my loofah. <laughs> You'll bring a big bubble bath up to here. I, I think the only one that actually will subscribe to your channel is going to be this guy. I'm just going to just throw <laughs> that out there. Barry. That's it. Yeah. Barry would be like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, Barry's like, I already got pics. You know. <laughs> I was messing what with are Barry. they talking about? What were you guys talking about, Vitruvio? Oh, yeah. The, my node, I was never planning on selling. 
Um, somebody offered me money and I saw it as an opportunity. I'm like, okay. Plus I have all this bad blood. Brian's been coming after me. You know, he threatened me online. He's been threatening me a text message every week. He sends me a threatening te text message. So I'm just like, you know what? I want to put this crap behind me and just, you know, I wish the project well, but like personally, I just wanted to get away from it because I have so much bad memories with it. So I have yeah. no skin in the game anymore with Vitruvio. I Justin, still air Justin and I are on the same page too. Do I, oh. I still air their downloads every Friday on my channel. I don't speak bad about it. I am part of the revived DAO. We do have a big vitro stake, um, 1.8 million coins. So I do have some actually that way I do have some skin in the game, but I'm really not not paying attention to it otherwise. So if you guys ask me questions and I don't know the answers. It's because I'm not paying attention to it as much as I was. But I do wish it the best. So what you're saying is there's a chance. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I appreciate you chiming in. I, I know you've been out of, out of it for a bit. I've been out of it for a bit. I well, I've I've been in the in discords, I've been watching and, and going on. Going on in and about that, in and out of that, but I haven't been on lives and we haven't talked about it. Um, but I definitely wanted to get your get your take on it because you are on the outside looking in now. Where which is the irony is that you used to be like straight up, I mean, on a boat with the guy that created it. You know what I mean? No, you know what I'm saying? But you used to be like, uh, I mean, you were Inside like, the, you were like teacher's pet, you know, you wore the tee, bought the t-shirt, you know, I think you even got a tag. Yeah. It said, well, one thing I've learned be on me this forever. Whole, what? This whole <laughs> lesson I've learned is never fall in love with crypto. Never fall in love with any project. Never fall, make them earn your love. Like if they like, you're in this to make money. You're not in this to make friends. You're not in this to like be in a community. Like a lot of these cults, it's like having anybody who says anything negative, oh, you're against our investment. If your right. investment's not making you money, it's not showing you what you need to show. Feel free to call it out. And somebody calling that out from the outside, they're not just fudding on you. They might actually see it for how it is. Like yeah. mm -hmm. I learned, know, learned a long time ago from my aunts and uncles who always, always have been their own bosses. Build a store, it'll sell it, do this and sell. I say, why do you sell all the time? It's, you built it. So everything I own is for sale. Everything's for sale. I'm just waiting for the right price. Right. And exactly. so they never get married to your thing because if right. you got out what you needed out of it, go on your next thing if you want to. You know, uh, one of my best friends who who has has gone on to he and I got into IT together. And when I first when I started my first IT company, uh, he was my business partner. And now he 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 left, he got out of that that I would say that um, that industry went on to to uh, to to doing other things in other industries, um, and he's 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 facilitated millions of dollars have run through his fingers when it comes to the acquisitions, starting up businesses, writing the business plans, and then and then of course uh, bringing him to to acquisitions and all that stuff. So, point I'm making is back to what you're saying, Terry, is. He always tell he's always taught me you've always have to have an exit strategy. Yep. You know, it, people people oh I'm going to start this business and I'm going to make millions, right? That's the goal, right? But what is your exit strategy? What at what point in time do you go I'm not going to work you know my goal is to do this 1 2 3 years. Uh I want I want to start in 2 years I need to be there because of the business plan, the financial planning, you know, and all these things you're going to have in place. And on year two, this is where I'm going to be, or I'm doing something else because if I'm not here in year two, something's got, something's got to give. You can't continually just, you know, just keep going down this damn path and nothing's happening. The point I'm making is, is that you've always got to have a, a an exit strategy. Like you said, everything is for sale. You can't go, I'm going to go in. We're going to change the world. Okay. At what point, at what point in time are you going to be sad, content enough to go like, you know what? Let me take my cut my losses, cut my gains and leave right at the end of the day. And, and uh, that's, and there's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't it mean that, that you don't love what you do? Cause you're going to probably going to do it again. This is fun. Let's go do another one. Right. Yeah, and that's yeah. what he does. Right. And that, he just continues. He does that. He's flipping yeah. businesses. Um, I was by one of my really rich clients that being retired, isn't the lack of work, especially being tired, retire when you're young, but being able to work how, when you want, because you're so specialized. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's wisdom. Yeah, especially now in a bull run, there's so many projects out there making 
money making gains if you're in a project that's not operating for you get the hell out there's no sense in being like oh in the future this is going to happen oh when this comes out oh he made a bullish announcement no it's got to happen right now get it like yeah. if you're talking about future of projects you're in no there's money printing go on solana you can throw darts at meme coins right now and make 17x every day it's ridiculous my brother's making thousands a week just solana meme coins stupid crap yeah. Right. Solana is the place to be right now. Yep. Uh, it says Vitruvio going to be listed on Coin Market Cap. Does anybody know if that is a thing? I don't think Nick has said anything about that. Yeah, I haven't seen anything on it. Uh, good thing came out of it. All of this uh, was you guys forming a great community. Yeah, I mean we're like we. I keep in contact with these guys a lot. And every once in a while I go in Discord, but. I went in Discord and posted something probably a week ago. It's a pretty long post, but somebody was uh, run, running their mouth again. <laughs> hey, Greek, appreciate your direct words and honesty, mate. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Because we know one thing about the Greeks. They're honest. And they're good at math. There you go, Greek. Yeah, when the math doesn't math and you tell somebody it's not mathing and they tell you you're a moron, then you yeah, want to just yeah, punch yeah. the wall. <laughs> that's the truth. That is the truth. That's my date. That's my every day. I was going to say that's your date. I was like, damn, I'm going to need you going on. <laughs> that's my argument <laughs> daily. My yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. I care too much, too. I don't know why I still bitch about that every day to you guys. You guys are like, why do you still care? Yeah, because at the end of the day, uh, I won't name names. You, you don't need to. You, I think you care because uh, that's just who you are, man. You're uh, you're always trying to do the right thing. At the end of the day, yeah, we're all here to make money, but not at the expense of others. You know what I mean? You're not trying to rip nobody off. Um, and when you see it blatantly happen, like that guy's literally like lying to your face. I gotta say something, you know. And then when you say something, and they and then his minions attack you, it's like. What the hell's going on? Like it's weird. It's weird. It's almost like uh, it's almost like uh, the federal government. It's weird. It's, it's actually very Human weird nature. being <laughs> being on the outside. Like now I know how you know the people we call fudders how they feel because you're like you're on the, when you're on the outside you are looking at it objectively. You're not you don't have like but when you're inside you're so you have to just stop with the hopium, stop with Disconnect. everything that you visualize and just be like, does this look good? How does somebody on the outside see this? How does somebody right. who's never heard about this project see this? And if you seriously have red flags when you ask yourself that question, now I see it like that. Man, look at that chart. Look at why would anybody put money in this? And you got people, oh, you're just a footer. This is going play. You're like, are you serious? Ask, go go on the streets and yep. show people your chart. Show people your your project, tell them what it's about and see if anybody would throw any money in it. If you can't get one person to even say, yeah, I throw money in that, then probably what are you doing? And yeah, I know mo most of these meme coins, but Hey, when they're going up to the, you can make money on them. At least, you know, you have that. But, well, well, there's a these, but there's a different project. approach though, right? Like if you, if you're talking about meme coins, meme coins are completely different from like, Hey, go get into this blockchain, right? Because, or this ecosystem that's going to be producing meme coins or whatever. When you're talking about meme coins, it's like, hey, th this, the opportunity isn't take that moon, meme coin to the moon. It's take that one, that one, that one, that. They're all going to step you up, up to the moon. It's not one's going to take you. There's going to be there's going to be quite a few that get you to where you want to be. But when you're talking about projects, um, it's it's a little different. It, and you know, I like what you said that when you're on the outside looking in, and no, and this is what you said. You said if I if you were to take this is what I gathered from what you said. This is my takeaway. If you're in a project and you're married to it. And then take, if you actually take the time and go present it to someone else that knows nothing about it. And if they don't want to buy in, and if you've spoken to 10 people and not one person or a hundred people, not one person wants to buy in, it's probably not a good project to be in. Right? right. If you can't sell it, that means obviously then it's not worth selling. Right. And you know, and I've actually experienced that in the last few months, you know, I'm, I'm you know, where I've actually brought some, I have people with some pretty deep pockets looking at some of the projects that I'm in and they're going, yeah, we're not that impressed, but I'm like, nah, man, you got to understand the, you know, this is going to be the greatest thing, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, I mean, you say that, but basically, but, but 
bring back, we're actually looking at it and we're watching what's going on and we're not that impressed. And these are guys that actually have very deep pockets. So I actually learned in the last few, probably the last few months I've learned exactly. I've actually experienced exactly what you're talking about, Greek. So yeah, yeah. Well, super- I, I think that, I think that uh, what I found, this is one of the biggest things that I think I learned over the last year is that people, some people out there make fun of, uh, the utility of of a token or 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 a, a coin or whatever of crypto listen we're on the verge of everything being tokenized everything you're talking like your yep. deed to your house they're already doing it they everything's going to be moving that way you're going to have companies mainstream companies that are going to be on the blockchain and the in in the business world if you have people that you're around that think that utility doesn't matter, those those non-utility things, meme coins, they're fun, but they're fads and they go away. They'll 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 eventually go away. Mm-hmm. If you create a utility and you tokenize it, you're going to do well. I, I don't I don't understand how the, in crypto they're like. It, it, what's the utility, you know, like making fun of it. And it's like, that's life. That's everything. Because right now look at Greek. Greek loves the, the, the cyber truck, right? He's married to it. He's going to, he's going to be a part of it. He's going to, he's going to get the truck and he's going to have it. Everything like that. That's a utility. So, I mean, he, everybody's got something a lot of my guns the things that i do and everything like that it's like you got to have some type of utility because what i've learned over the last last year is i spent a whole lot of time dealing with a lot of different issues that had nothing i'm not making any kind of money off of these it's not passive income you know what passive income is buying real estate buying something that pays you in legitimate money not I'm not dependent on other people. The only thing I'm depending on is an act of God. If there's a tornado, a hurricane, or something like that, that's my assets. Those are the things that I have. And I'm not dependent on some guy from Australia that uh, can really could suck or a big York. egg. I hate to say you this, know? though. If you look at every DeFi project without any utility, without any some way coming in, outside revenue coming in, all you are is date, basically a Ponzanomic token. It's player, player. it's player versus player. It's player versus player. And when when you realize this, when you got all these people, and I'm not going to name names on projects here, you'll have people in the Discord all being like, oh, let's all hodl to the moon, hodl to the moon. That's great. But when you have a finite liquidity pool and everybody's fight, fighting for that liquidity pool, mm-hmm. dude, the person saying hodl to the moon might be the one selling on your ass getting Which you one? to hodl. This isn't a team sport here. So you got to look at it. It's all Ponzanomics. Oh, we need new holders mm-hmm. to come in. We need new holders. And and making games and burns and stuff is not a utility for any token. I don't care what anybody says. Right. Because the liquidity pool doesn't give a shit what, how many tokens you have in circulation. Oh, we only have this many tokens in circulation. It doesn't matter. It's the relationship of how many tokens of one asset versus BNB are in there. And that's the only thing that determines price and the, the give and take of that relationship. So whether you have 300,000, to- like you could burn half your supply and have 300,000 tokens in circulation from 600,000 and that LP ratio stays the same, your price is the exact same. Nothing's right. changed other than people thinking better and that positivity will lead them to want to buy more. And that's all people think. It's just yeah. a way of Those things are fun though. I mean, uh, well uh, there's, there's, well there's tokens out there and, and things that, that I I'm a part of that I would be like, Oh, I like it. I enjoy doing, you know, the, the, the different things that you got to do with them, but there is no utility unless you're getting something outside. You're generating revenue. And, there are a lot of projects out there that are going to want to do that. Well, I would say step it up, man, because you're going to be, you get that built and get it ready and you start earning something. Uh, you're going to, you're going to do well in this bull run, but if you don't have a utility and I don't care what anybody said, there's no utility. It, it like making fun. Like you don't need a utility. You, you do because guess what ends up happening is you, you're, you're dependent on other 
they, naive they, people they, they jumping in here on me die slow deaths and then people right. call it the slow rug this is what the crypto slow rug is it's basically yeah. you have nothing going for you and it's always when this comes out it's going to be bullish for us when this comes out and you have to keep doing that but nothing is bullish like there's so much money to be made in right. the and there's so many and i'm not saying you can't make money on crap coins because there's plenty you can make tons of money on this but don't sit there and just stay in one if it's not making money get out because yeah. over the last five months, anybody who's been throwing hundreds in Bitcoin a week is doing very well right now <laughs> with their returns. Like, you know, I made I made more, triple what I lost in that idiot's project. Yep. Um, I, I idiot in, the, in the last product. Bitcoin run that we just had, I've made like what I, I guess potentially what I would have made with with all my projects in the in the DGen, you know, and, and I made it. In like three weeks in Bitcoin, you know, in my in my in my gains, and I well, I'll say three weeks in, in three four days is when it kind of went up, but but um and, and so Bitcoin, that's why I love Bitcoin, man, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I am, yeah. am degenerating in some things, you know. I, I'm still doing some trading, but it's an addiction. You just do you, it, it you get into these other things. You're like degen is. is an addiction, but you have to know yeah. when to get out. Like yeah. that's the problem with most people yeah. get in these plays and they think it's going to just keep going up and to the right, and then they end up missing the the out point and then they get left holding the bag and that there's a lot of that oh yeah, you know? yeah. that's the but, problem and that, that's actually the nature of the beast here right that's just the way the game's played um so i no longer look for the 100 x's not even 20 x's i'm looking for the 10 x's honestly i mean Tops. i think i have the advantage yeah. than most everybody that we talk to in crypto because me being in bitcoin for so long bitcoin taught me how to hold yeah. So I have, I have no, no it, real. It didn't, te- it didn't teach you how to hold, Chris. No one taught hold. you how to sell it. There's a difference. <laughs> no. It, well, I didn't know how to sell it. Okay, you're right. You're right. I didn't know how to sell. That's it the easiest way to hold. Time. I don't know how to sell this shit. But then, when I did sell and take a realized gain in like 2018 or whatever, I was like, okay, I got this left, and mm-hmm. I, I was holding it. And then it would just every time I look at it, it just kept going up, just kept going up. And then, and it, after a while, it was just like. I'm never selling my Bitcoin. I'm not going to have the realized gain. Going up into the right, damn you. Yeah. And my kids, my kids are going to be the ones that reap the rewards on my Bitcoin, not me, man. Because it's like instructions how to sell it. That's that's my that's my take there. Figure it out. That's exactly what I want to do with it. (laughs) I I know I'm I'm you know I have my my business and you know the things I'm working my 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 vesting that I'm doing across the board here. It's not just crypto. It's it's all over the place. I'm very diversified. But yeah, crypto to me is one of the pillars of the foundation of the legacy I'm leaving my kids. Oh, yeah. I want to be yeah. able to leave my kids, uh, you know, millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin, and but they don't need it because if it goes to zero, they've got the other things I'm trying to leave for them. So, which is real yeah. estate, right? So, um, but yeah, I, but I like it because it's so exciting, though, right? You look at it, you're like, ah, I'm not gonna sell that. You know, what keeps me from selling is not because I don't know how, Chris, because I actually know how to sell it. It's because Taxes. Like, you know what? It's there you go. <clears throat> well, I, I just, you know, there's not a reason I was talking about off. selling Bitcoin, so I was going to remove yeah. it from the screen. He's got to go. You can't talk about selling Bitcoin, dude. I'm just I'll be saying that I, what I'm saying is <laughs> I don't sell. It's not because I don't know how. I, I don't sell because of taxes. Look, I, I sold some. I sold some Bitcoin. Damn you, to, 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 to buy the house and to get into the house, and uh, and then of course I'm doing taxes. I'm like shit. <laughs> Because you know, I, you, I gotta pay. Did you, did you add, did you add an IUL to that uh, trust like we talked yes. about? The, yes, I did. But not, so the one I actually sold the Bitcoin out of is not the one I used an IUL. It's a completely different one. Okay. So the one I so I have a couple <clears throat> wallets, right? So the one that I used for the house, I had already planned to do that. Well, you know, when you when you actualize those gains and you drop it into your checking account, yeah, you know, you get you that. get you get a ten ninety nine, right? <laughs> point the point is is that. <laughs> I have well, I had to, and it I, depends on how long you had it too, because if you if you don't have it for more than about twelve five, months, well, I had well thirty seven percent tax, dude. Right. It was no, no. This one was about four years. So oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I good. didn't get I didn't get hit with the highest the highest bracket, but st- I still got hit. Short term, short term, yeah, yeah. Short term capital gains, right? Short-term but it wasn't it. short term. But it was that plus you know all the other income I have coming in, and it, you know it, it adds up, right? And so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to take this chunk and I'm going to put it towards down on a house to pay down the house. And it's like, 
half of that shit goes to taxes, you know? And, and, no, it's, don't, don't and that's, do that. you're, you're, you lose money. If you, if you actually think about it, that's why, I mean, some people may totally disagree with that, but I do, I don't pay you down my house. Because I can take it, say, say when I get equity in my home, I always take the money out and put it into an IUL, which will earn me a higher percentage than the interest rate that I'm paying on my house. So I'll make 12% on average, 10 to 12% over the lifetime of an IUL. And I'll pay, you know, four and a half percent on, on my house. So it's like, I'm making way more money off that yeah, money I know exactly what you're saying. than yeah. it's sitting in, in my house and, uh, you know, growing you, equity. You, you actually it, told me that about equity a year, that you a year can't ago. use to do anything with. You don't do anything with it's just, It's really cool to say, yeah, I got this amount of equity in my home. And, okay. Right, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. You, know, means, you, you actually you know told me likes, that, You know who likes equity? People but, that, that want to take the equity from you, well, sure. people that want to give you loans. They want to take fall, your equity. You didn't do a reverse mortgage, reverse mortgage did you? Because <laughs> of your, cause your age. I'm just kidding. No. No. No way. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> no. I, if I get any equity in my house, it they is. They told it me it wasn't more. reverse. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. But you actually told me that you would. That you, we actually talked about this about a year ago. And so when I was buying the house, I was like, no shit. The UI. Yeah, I remember you talking about it. So yeah, I got it set up that way. So yeah. absolutely. When I bought it, when I got into it this house. It creates generational wealth, man. It right? does. It does. It's not worth interest, anything. Compound like, interest. IUL, it's not worth anything for maybe one or two years, maybe three. Yeah. And even just for that matter, just say five years. An IUL isn't really worth anything five years. But you get into the 20 year range. You literally can be getting paid, depending on what what size IUL you have. You could be getting paid like five times what your retirement is yep. for twenty years. You know, so I mean, either you can take it or you can you know. But to me, or and and the great thing about IULs is that you can take some. Of, it's not the perfect thing, but you'd have to look at different ones. But but you're insured if anything happens to you, and then that that funds your trust that you passed on to your kids. Yep. And then they, you have it in the trust that they have to buy an IUL for their kids. <laughs> you know? So, and that's, I mean, that's what happens. It just keeps going. Each generation gets paid more and has more of a trust fund and it just keeps growing. And that's where you make, you create generational, generational yep. wealth. Yep. Your great grandchildren exactly. will be multimillionaires before they're even born you know what's what's amazing about you sharing that with me chris is when, when my dad got sick okay he's got he's got some property he's got he's got some retirement yeah and then now he's, he's living with me and i'm taking care of him and he didn't have any of that stuff set up you know he just had his house and some, some people don't think about it man right he, he but if you know. think about it this is the part that it 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 makes me i i would hope that anybody that ever listened to me on anything they would think about this because you're insured. So you have car insurance. Most everybody's got car insurance, right? Mm -hmm. You have insurance on your home. You have renter's insurance. You have all these different insurance. Well, you don't have insurance on yourself. If you set up an IUL and you, you're you insuring yourself, plus you're creating generational wealth later on. So it's kind of like a double whammy. And it's not worth mm -hmm. anything at the beginning, but later on, yeah. it, it's worth something. So I mean, everybody, I say everybody, IULs may not be for you or whatever. Talk to an insurance person, get yourself a trust set up and get that ball rolling, man. Uh, I got the ball rolling and uh, you're right. I, you know, I've always had life insurance, right? Uh, and I've, I've got the term, I've had the term for years. I've got, I've got, a, I've got kind of a hybrid. I've got a, I've got a lot, I've got a term that I've had for, since I was in my twenties. And then I've, I've got the, uh, the, the IUL, whatever, where I'm, I'm insured, right? right? And, and, you know, and I'm dumping money into that. Obviously, it's building equity, you know, to some degree. Or, you know, it's going to be able to cash value over time. Um, and and I, I love the fact that if something were to happen to me, uh, like right now, my, my family's taken care of, obviously, you know. Yeah. Pays, pays, pays yeah, off my debt, genius. my kids. Everything's <laughs> taken care of. My family's taken care of. But if if I get to live to be 70 years old, well, I'm going to have some cash. I can, I'm going to be able to borrow against my own policy here. No, and, you won't borrow. And I, you will, you'll be paid. Well, I'll be paid. You know what I'm talking about. You I, can I mean, set well, it up. Well, I can you... borrow. I can borrow. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, Don't borrow about... it. You Because it, it, see what happens is you're not borrowing an IUL. That money is yours. It doesn't take away from your balance. 
Correct. So correct, correct. if you set it up and you paid into an IUL, like, like say like, um, you know, 20 years in the last five years, you know, or, or you, you, you do it for the rest of your life. You do it like start at 50 and you say, you're going to go to like 90 or whatever. And you say, I'm going to pay into it for 20 years and I'm going to get paid out in 20 years. Mm-hmm. You're still going to get that. What the value of that insurance is. You're just going to be paid out basically the profits that it compounded yeah, yeah. for that time. So you can be making a paycheck. If you set it up right, you could be making a paycheck for the last 20 years of your life yep. on top of social security and other things that you're yeah. doing. Well, social security won't be around when I think you're using the last of it of everybody on this panel, but I, because it's like, because, because of our government, not because of you, Chris, because of our government. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to be around, honestly, but no, but, but, but I did, I did set that up, uh, you know, with the trust and, and, and the IUL and everything, uh, for myself, but my, I would say it was my dad didn't even know to do any of that stuff. So as I begin explaining oh, things no. to him, obviously he's, he's up in a, he, it doesn't benefit him to do that. Nonetheless, I did, I did set up some of the, tr- I did set up the trust with a lot of his assets and everything. And, um, you know, and I, and as I, as I began to just kind of map this thing out, I'm now, I, I truly, and I really appreciate the advice that you gave. You really gave me a, a, a different perspective on how to look at these things, um, because now I'm thinking about my daughters and you know and, my, and their kids that they're gonna have, and I, you know, and, and it's really started with my dad because you know he he's 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 because of what he has, it made me kind of go, oh crap, something oh, yeah. needs to be done because that could you know it it, it it was all for nothing, you know what I mean? Now he gets to help. He's gonna help contribute to leaving a legacy for his great 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 grandchildren, hopefully. So. Um, but it's, it's all about, you know, it's all about what you know, right. And, and, and the more, you know, it, actually, you know, if you don't know what yeah. you don't know, you just, you're just basically, uh, yeah. If you ever, if, if people, if you don't know, just say you don't know and don't listen to a guy on the internet, go uh, get a book about the Rockefellers. Just read about what the Rockefellers, how they created their wealth. So, and they just passes on from generation to generation. And you'll 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 understand a lot more. And there's tons of people out there that that would help you, but don't don't listen to an internet guy. Yeah, guys, Gus I gotta Pez. get going. Yeah, I gotta get going too. I want to read uh, what Gus has got to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. But uh, after you secure everything for you and your family, go enjoy life. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. Trust me on that one. That's 100 percent true. That yep. is great yep. advice, Gus, and I appreciate I appreciate everybody and all that kind of stuff. I know that uh, I know it's uh, it's been a while and everything like that. I don't know when we'll be back on, but we'll see how our schedules go. What do you got to say, Kryptonian? I know you got oh, something. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give us honest. words of wisdom. Yeah, right. I'm the dumbest guy on here. I'll tell you this: we we uh, we'll be back again, guys. This is a lot of fun. I love talking about my friends here. Um, I always walk. I always have takeaways every time we get to talk. I always learn something from each of these guys, different walks of life, but we all have the same goal in life. And that's to, uh, to take care of our families, take care of ourselves and, and to take care of, uh, of the people closest to us. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better, a better way to spend my Monday, man. So I really appreciate you guys. It's been, it's been a while. Um, but it's I would fun. always I'd absolutely say inspect what you expect guys, you know, um, you are who you hang around. You know, and if you're hanging around with a bunch of idiots, then uh, you get you get what you pay for, essentially. And and I definitely don't feel like I'm hanging around a bunch of idiots. You know, um, I always, like I said, I always learn when I'm with you guys, and I really appreciate you. Thanks for having me on, um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one, as always. Well, you thanks thanks thanking us for having us. You're the one that did this. <laughs> well, I, I just well, I just asked, you know, if you guys are busy, you know, I know we're going to go on a YouTube live. I, thought, like, yeah, I was busy. given I forty we five minutes cooler. notice. Yeah, I know. I thought we were on a Zoom call the whole time, and I realized, oh shit, we're live. You know, <laughs> it, it, Greek was given forty five minutes. I was given like fifty minutes. <laughs> You're like, hey, but what are you doing? And Terry was Man, giving no. even less. Like, I told Terry when we were going live, I was like, he's giving 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, I, I'm cooking well, dinner. Well, Chris, my you, Chris, I know you were, you were, you know, you were out of town over the weekend. You said we're heading back in. You know, I wanted to meet up this weekend. Yeah. Um, I was like, well, I'll let you get in. I know how it is when you're traveling and stuff. So I said, let me hit him up. You know, about an hour before we go live. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's like, a guarantee. You should make it on time, then, right? Yeah, but like, but like, <laughs> like, like a, a true friend you are, man. You always come through. Always come clutch, man. I can always count on you. So I appreciate you for that, uh, as well as your, you guys, Greek and, and Terry, man. Uh, I love you guys, yeah. man. You know, and I, I, you guys are always on my thoughts, my prayers. Uh, and, and I know it's been a while since we've talked, 
right? And got to actually talk to everybody listening. We appreciate you guys. Um, we, we love getting up here, cutting it up, man. And hopefully, uh, something sticks on the wall of some of the things that we've said, you know, our biggest, our biggest goal. And, and at least for me is to hope that I can, I can teach somebody, uh, to not pay stupid taxes, you know, cause I've paid quite a bit in my life. So, um, and, uh, if, if I can at least save somebody from doing that, you know, then, then that's what I'm here for. I think. Yeah. And I owe to the tax man. <laughs> yeah. yeah same here man i'd same rather owe the tax man than he has my money what you got? It's, he's got my money interest free i don't i don't like that so i'd so, rather owe the tax man so you're terry you got it. anything you want to say i just it was felt, felt good to be live with you guys again and I, like chris is saying you know you kind of smell with like the fish you swim with it's not how you said it but you know you can, you are you are with the people you hang out with you know Absolutely. Yeah. When I was a Absolutely. punk running the streets, I was pretty much a punk, you know. So yeah. One. I mean, I wouldn't say it to your face, but you know. Oh, you just... <laughs> I I say it to his face. He, yeah. He's such a nice guy. He'd be like, "Really? You think so?" You're... Yeah. You, 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 you'd be like this. I'd be like this. You kidding? Yeah. You kidding? <laughs> I'm up. And that's not who I am. I've been that person. And that's not who I am. <laughs> Lori wouldn't let him like, no. beat up on me. She'd be like, "Stop it." Stop My daughter would be that if I ever did that. Yes, you'd be you're beating up Santa Claus. Yep. yep. You know what would be funny though if you actually picked up Chris and slammed him poof, and a bunch of loofahs just fell out of him. <laughs> you can probably AI that. Make an AI well, that. It's a shame that uh, Kryptonian yeah, had to leave early. He just hides loofahs in his pocket. I forgot you had that button, man. Yeah. I don't even know where the loofah <laughs> thing came from. But, uh, I don't well, know, because, but you knew where to look for it on Amazon. No, because someone asked what color I mean, loofah was. We're talking about the soap. Oh, did someone take him off there? <laughs> he took himself off? I just... Not bad, yeah. Like, I, dropped I, my I think I'm the least exposed of all you guys in crypto. Like, y'all know more than me. And so, you know, I can call anyone. I don't want to talk to Greek off the air, but I'm sure if I if, if I could, he would. But I, I've talked yeah. to the other guys, just ask questions randomly. You always been open. And these guys act the same way off the air as they do on the air, guys. Yeah, Honestly. I'm an idiot. Sorry. What, good bunch of good <laughs> We're When all I was in my echo chamber as a crypto enthusiast, I wasn't making any money. So I've learned how to make money. Yeah. Now I get to you know learn more too. So I like hanging out with you guys as much as these guys like to hang out with us, I hope. Take profit early and often. Yeah. Dang it. Don't hold the Dang it. Yeah. Don't sell you Bitcoin. No. No. Well, I mean, unless you're gonna I, yeah, don't sell Bitcoin. Don't, don't, don't buy Ducati. I've don't got one I don't sell. <laughs> But when it goes up, I'll keep the profits and then sell those. I want some yeah. my I want some my bag. You hear that, Riggs? No selling Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. I told my dog. To remind me. <laughs> That's the way I see it. All right. Well, I'm out of here. All right. All right. Talk guys. to you guys later. It's been fun. We'll see you guys.